Guys, this is your final week to get some trash taste drip. What are you waiting for? Why are you watching this video? Click the link in the description right now. Bye, bye, bye. Subliminal messaging. Buy the trash taste merch. You're going to regret it if you don't get it right now. You have exactly one week left. Seven oh. whole days. And after that, you will never see these ever again. Don't complain to us. We gave you a fair warning. Link in the description right now. We got t-shirts. We got the sweater. Everything is beautiful. Everything is delicious. Get your hands on it right now. Link in the description. You fucking warm. You fucking lovely. You fucking warm, eh? Welcome back to this episode of Trash Taste. I'm Connor, and I'm here again, once again. Fuck, say it again. With the boys. <laughs> once, once again, again once again, again fuck, again, say it again. Once five. again, <laughs> with the boys, Gone Joe. I really <laughs> fucked that up. So that's wow. like Trash Taste special. It's been a while since you've hosted. To be yeah, fair, yeah. yeah. It oh yeah, it feels months. like it. Even though we've filmed a bunch of episodes, uh, we've been away. Yeah, well, and yeah, well, yeah, we well, the last yeah. one you yeah. hosted was Felix. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, which was like wow. three months ago for us. That was a month ago, for you guys, right? That was that was really really soon, right? <laughs> right, guys. <laughs> How you guys been? What have you been up to? <sighs> Wow, Joe. Yeah, 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 wow, Joe. Yeah, great, Joe. What have you been up to? What a great to? podcast. Yeah, yeah. Wow, we don't fucking do anything. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking about it. I'm like. That's a really fucking good question, Connor. What have I done this week other than just play Pokemon? Because that's is that fun? All. Is it good? It's, you, you haven't been touching grass. You've been touching some virtual grass. I've been touching some virtual five frames per second grass. Yeah, um, I don't need, we, we all great. know as we've already established you don't see frames. You don't. You can't tell the difference between sixty. No, and I don't see frames. That's, that's, that's why. Yeah. That's why you like the that's new Pokemon. That's why people are like people are like, oh, the the Switch has performance issues and this game runs like shit. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I <laughs> it runs, I'm like, it runs exactly the same. It's perfect. Oh my god, the fact that I've seen <laughs> clips and so much shit. I'm like, how could you not tell the difference? This is. Okay, so yeah, I mean, there was like, there was rumors going around being like, oh, if you bought the physical copy, then it runs a million times more worse and it's a million times more glitchy than the digital version. Yeah. So maybe that's why, cause like mine was like, I had a couple of like, cause you know, yeah, I mean, I had a couple of like frame drops and shit like that. And a lot of parts that were like just struggling to load, mm, yeah. um, but I weren't having like, a huge crashes like some people were. So maybe there's some truth to that matter, but um, it's yeah. A very, I think they sold 10 million copies in the first three days. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, it was very Fuck. successful. It was a very highly anticipated series. Um, Yeah, wow. I mean, I, I so, just finished it yesterday. Actually, I know nothing story. about this because I don't really follow the gaming sphere, especially Pokemon. Yeah. So is this like a new mainline game or yeah. is this- It's the okay. ninth generation. Okay, and is it like 2D, 3D? 3D. Um, So, so it's it's kind of like Legends Arceus, if you saw anything about that, except this time it's actually open world. Unlike Arceus, that was is an open zone game, and I'm mm. like, oh, is that okay. a Sonic game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take areas that are open, but then I think that's been a lot of other games, and we never yeah. had a term for it. We were just like, that's level. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, it's like Mario Odyssey, right? Where it's like no. you, it's like when once you open up the world, then you have free range on the entire world, and you can yeah. do whatever the fuck right. you want in that area. But in order to open up the next zone, you have to progress in the story. Kind right, of thing. right. Whereas this one is the actual first proper open world, where like the entire map is actually actually open for you. Okay. And like the only like roadblocks of like traversing through the world is like, you know, you got to get your Pokemon to like surf so you can go on the ocean yeah. or something yeah. like that. But other than that, like places you can walk, it's fully open. Okay. okay. Um, as, as, as somebody who's played a, a fuck ton of Pokemon and I don't really feel that interested to play this mm. new one. Is there any reason I should play the new one? Is there anything new? Is there um, anything I care about? <laughs> or is it literally the Not same thing? Not for reasons you will care about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> let me guess, story. Yeah, <laughs> story and music are probably the best in any Pokemon game. Two things Bro, clearly Connor you, heavily cares about. Connor, let me tell games. you about the story and the music. It's it's incredible. Has the gameplay changed at all? Okay, so the game. Okay, so the gameplay loop. Okay, did you play Arceus at all? I did. Okay, did you like the gameplay loop of Arceus? Yeah. Okay, then it's it's essentially the so same all thing. All the Pokemon are running around. All the Pokemon are running around yeah. uh, in the open world. Um, of course, it's like, I would say Arceus was miraculously somehow <laughs> less buggier in that sense, because there are moments yeah. where like Pokemon will suddenly appear and then you approach them and then they just straight up disappear. <laughs> and sounds so there's like- Sounds like a great game. I mean, yeah. it's great to stream because it's hilarious. Yeah. Because the game is just so glitchy and broken. But uh, like, other than that, like the gameplay loop, I would say is mm. really good. And I, I don't know. This is like the big argument when it comes to like every new generation of Pokemon being like, have Pokemon designs gotten lazier or have they gotten better? This, it's yeah. like a never ending fucking argument, right? They like, do yeah. look more like, you know, from the brief, uh, like 
pictures I saw of mm. the new Pokemon, they look more like Digimon than Pokemon. A lot time. of people yeah. have said that. They, they yeah. very much look like, whoa, okay. I will <laughs> say is- though, I think it, this is probably the one generation where I think all three starter Pokemon are just as popular as one another. Okay, Cause right. like, you know how like in like gen one, for example, it's like clearly like, you know, Char- uh, Charmander or Squirtle mm, were like yeah. the top two contenders is like yeah. Bulbasaur, I sleep, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it was like, there's, oh, there was always one starter where it's like, I sleep. <laughs> or there was a clear winner. Yeah. I feel in this generation, I've seen like almost an equal dispersion mm. of all three starters. Cause I think like yeah. all three of the designs are really solid. And like, just again, like the gameplay kind of really cult, not doesn't really matter really like what kind of starter mm. you pick at the end of the day, because it is an open world and you can go in any direction. I want them to make starters that aren't water, fire or grass. I feel like they should do that. <laughs> just like, is it because of the is it because of the, the the three colors that are aesthetically pleasing? Is that why we stick yeah, to it? Like, and why I, do we stick to? Well, the- I guess it's also because of the OG like triangle, right? Yeah, of like you yeah. know, one is stronger than the other, you know, kind of thing. I but- guess so. But I feel like it could be more exciting to yeah, I agree. Have it mix up, you know, just, yeah, I agree. Because they they all they all get two types anyway now. Yeah, so exactly. It's like, all right, well, why don't we just do? All right, well, we get fire later on or some shit. Yeah, I don't fucking know. but I'm sure you can like traverse through the game without using your starter at all. Yeah, I mean, you normally can. Pokemon's easy enough now where. You have to have one IQ to fail. Yeah. Like it's 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 really hard to fuck up. It is. It yeah, is. I mean, is it is it worth getting back into Pokemon nowadays? Because well, it depends. I, where, where did you stop? I, I stopped uh, Pokemon Ruby. That's which. <laughs> yes. Well, okay, yes. So, okay, I know. No, right. So like, I know. I mean, the, you the, did. You did. You did play peak Pokemon in my yeah opinion, yeah yeah so, because I yeah. I I, pl- I played Red and Blue. I played Gold and Silver. Mm-hmm. Then I played Ruby, mm-hmm. and I, I was like, okay. I think I'm done. I, I, that's, <laughs> and that's fair. I think, and, and it's been like how many decades now? Yeah, you know? yeah like the core 20. formula hasn't changed, and yeah. it's gotten easier. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah. I think uh, the reason why Pokemon has had a lot of longevity amongst uh, older people is that you add the Nuzlocke, you add the challenges. Yeah, you, yeah. You add a spin to it that makes it interesting for yourself. Mm. Yeah, because because the way I see the Pokemon franchise in my mind, it's it's kind of like the same way you know Isekai is for anime, where it's 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 iterations of the same idea. That's and offensive. You, and it, and, and, <laughs> Well, okay. Tell tell me if you like it. I don't then know. You, I don't you know can, who's you offended can more by that. I think, yeah, they're both pretty. I was gonna lazy. say something like it's it's a lot like Game of Thrones, where it's like if you're like if you're like six seven. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. In the, no, in the sense of like how the fan base works, where it's like okay, if you're already six or seven seasons in, you might as well just fucking finish the rest. At that point, well, you, they're all <laughs> wait, like wait, different wait, games. Wait, though. What up. are you talking hold about? Up. Game of Thrones is like this. one one continuing. Hold up, <laughs> hold up, hold up! What the fuck? This is coming from someone who's never seen Game of Thrones. By the <laughs> way, what the fuck are you talking about, Joey? <laughs> Um, what I mean is, if you it's 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 a lot like any no. long form TV series where it's got multiple series, right, or multiple seasons. Where like, okay, you enjoyed the first couple of ones, okay, maybe the third or fourth one sli- slightly starting to go downhill, but you're already committed at this point. You might as well no, just I see it till the end. I don't agree with this. I feel like because Pokemon- I haven't enjoyed every Pokemon game. Some yeah. of the Pokemon games, in in my opinion, have been quite shit. Like yeah. Sun and Moon was were pretty mid, in my opinion. Sword and Shield was dog shit. Sword, it wasn't dog shit. It was mid. I hated that. It was okay. I hated it. I hated um, it. X and Y was like, yeah, it was okay as well. Um, I, I can't remember a single Pokemon from Sword and Shield, except for like the, the two characters. The Sword the and the Shield one? Yeah. 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 The old, <laughs> I, if you if you tell me to name any Pokemon from that game, I'm yeah. like- I'm the yeah. same though with like X and Y or like Sun and Moon. I'm like, at, yeah. after that point, for me, it's like after gen four and the recent one that I just played, I, 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 I don't really yeah. remember. I didn't play X and Y or Sun and Shield, so that's why I don't, but yeah. I, I don't, re- I played the whole game. I don't remember any, mm, but also yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's like the Game of Thrones analogy. I'd say it's more like, well, it's, it's independent series, right? So there's mm. no s- ongoing story. Isekai. No. It's, no. Okay, no. okay. Let, let, let me because reason. Isekai is not the same Isekai series, right? It's not like we've done, this is one guy in the same world as a smartphone. And then yeah. there's a different story with a different uh, cast of characters. Oh, it's, and- it's like you'll take, it's like iterations of the same kind of formula. It's it's kind of like- It's, it's like Doctor like Who. Ch- no, cause that would be like- in- <laughs> <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> no, yes, okay, it's, yeah, like, it's Doctor more like Doctor Who. More like Doctor Wait, Who. Wait, is there like an ongoing story or something? No, no but, there, but but like Doctor Who is also in in, in oh, a sense that like- callbacks. It, it has, ah, but, but nice. Pokemon also has callbacks as well. Mm, like there are, there are a lot of callbacks in the newer generations where you wouldn't really understand it. I think especially in terms of like the law, which is mm-hmm. the same with Doctor Who, right? Where it's like, you could just like go straight into season 10, which is everyone You've knows is the best. You've never watched Doctor Who, have you? I've watched the f- well, uh, Doctor Who five to 11. Well, the okay, story, okay, the story okay. of Doctor Who doesn't, 
<laughs> well, it kind of does separate, the first, but then they yeah. do have they do have callbacks and mentions. Like, yeah, yeah, I've, I mean, I've never I've never uh, seen the first. This couple is a of mess. We this fucked this up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we fucked this up. I've never, so okay, well, like in terms of Doctor Who, I've never seen like the first four seasons of Doctor Who. No, no, no. But no. I still enjoyed all the seasons I watch because yeah. they don't heavily depend on the callbacks. Yeah. Uh, like it's it's kind of like if you want to fully hundred. It's like a trash uh, taste episode. You don't yeah. have to you don't have to watch the one before. Yeah, but it's the same thing. No, I mean, I mean, Doctor Who has always had like one goal, which is, you know, for for the Doctor, it's, you know, find Gallifrey, you know, find find other Time Lords and stuff like that. That's, there's always been like one central goal. And then you've had like story arcs that have like come and gone with different characters and everything. But the core idea of the show has always remained kind of the same. Pokemon's you know? exactly the same. What's the end goal? To be the very best. <laughs> there, is, there are a couple of yeah, side characters that have their own storylines you follow. But at the end of the day, you're there to fucking beat the Elite Four and be the champion. Yeah, there's no need to play any Pokemon game prior to- Yeah, 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 I get that. Mm. Even I think like Black and White and Black and White 2. I don't yeah. even think their stories no. are necessarily like- Yeah, I, no, I, I, I could I, be what, wrong. I might no, talk about what, what, no, 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 you're right, you're what right. What I was trying to say is, I got like, the reason I stopped playing was just because I got kind of tired of the formula. Yeah, and then I was shit. just like, mm. is there anything, what I was trying to ask is that, is there anything new to like, bring me back yes. in. So Aside the, from Arceus, which actually looks interesting to me. Yeah, well, Arceus is not even a mainline game. Yeah, but yeah, like exactly. in terms of Violent Scarlet, the new one, yeah. what what I thought was really, really cool was like the, the open world thing is of course one thing, but also now there are three branching storylines that mm -hmm. you can choose to do. Oh, okay. And That's pretty cool. And it's and so it's like one of the storylines is the beat the eight gyms, beat the elite four, become the champion, mm -hmm. the standard one. Yeah. And then there are two other storylines that you can do yeah. that follow two separate characters. And okay. then, well, I mean, at the end of the day, in order to get to like the final end end, yeah. you have to yeah. do all three storylines anyway, but okay. you can do this storyline in any order you want. Oh, that's cool. So you can choose to be like, I'm just gonna fucking elite four and become yeah. the champion and then start this next one. Or okay. what I did was I did all three simultaneously. Okay. I mean, and so it's like, okay, so I just defeated uh, the fifth gym. Uh, you know, instead of going to the sixth gym, I'm just gonna go do this next part of this story. Mm. Right. And so it's kind of like a pick your own adventure type of style. And that works really well in like the open world setting. Yeah. So now it becomes like this fresh new thing that you can do. It's not just like, a, I need to make the best team and you know, become the best. What do you think about people criticizing the, the visuals of the game that they don't look as good as up to par as other Nintendo Switch games. Okay, so one thing I, I don't know if this is a hot take, but I personally don't have a problem with like the way that the game looks, because mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about it, that just kind of how it works in the style of Pokemon, right? Like I can't imagine a Pokemon game that has the graphics of like uh, a Breath of the Wild. Well, I, th I don't think it's that. I think they're just saying, I think a lot of criticism was, was uh, levied at them because they're like, you know, the sceneries look really fucking boring. And oh yeah, fair, they I've do. Seen, I've seen a lot of the screenshots of the game. I'm like, wow, yeah. this this looks so visually boring. It is, yeah. Like, all the backgrounds and yeah, all the textures yeah, yeah. look really bad. <clears throat> but um, I think as well, uh, you know, unlike say like, cause you know, the one game a lot of people use to compare is Breath of the Wild, right? Being yeah. like, oh, Breath of the Wild had like so much shit going on. And you yeah. know, like the environment was actually like interactive and really cool. But like yeah. the whole point of Breath of the Wild is to interact with your surroundings. Mm, yeah. Whereas in the Pokemon games, it's not to interact with the surroundings, it's to interact with the Pokemon. But I understand that I, I would be like, wow, I, this Pokemon in this natural habitat on this mm. one one by one PNG texture that looks <laughs> like ass. Like yeah. I, I'd be like, well, oh, no. you like, know. Yeah, no, could they have done better? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, like, it's like they're getting, they're getting closer to like indie horror devs. Where yeah. they're like, <laughs> We're just like, we're just, we're just making one big texture. And we'll Dude, call it Game a, Freak yeah. is doing this really cool thing where they're bringing back the PS2 graphics, I, man. Like, I, <laughs> it's, it's a real forward one, thinking move. One, one thing that has, that has always confused me about, I, I guess like the success of Pokemon, like mainline Pokemon games, mm. yeah. right? Is that, would you say that there has mm. been a Pokemon game within like the last few years that you would say is like, an absolute must play, kind of like the kind of like killer app that you'd see mm. like Breath of the Wild or like a, like no. a really, really highly acclaimed game. Not really. A lot of but... people's favorite game is Black and White 2. A lot of people love that yeah, one, but, again, right. but the Nintendo DS era is all, I mean, they're very minute changes each one and improvements. Yeah. Also, but, uh, also, I think a lot of Pokemon fans favorite to Black and White 2 is because it has one of the best stories. Yeah. yeah. Um, totally but if you don't give a shit about the story of Pokemon games, which a lot of Pokemon players don't, then yeah. it's like, 
it's there's not really there's like no a game that you have to play. I think it's Pokemon is just a juggernaut of advertising and yeah. brand recognition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. also it's easy. Like you as a parent, you don't have to think about buying your kid yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. Because you as the parent know what Pokemon is. It's like right? Mario. You don't have to there isn't like yeah. a must play Mario game. I, I, I there are some fucking classic right, Mario there, games. Uh, Holy some, shit. I think oh, all, yeah, like, all like, of them are must play. Is that you saying that through nostalgia goggles or is that you no. saying that through Fuck like it. Odyssey still Odyssey remains as like one of the best Switch games and like I what like I I think it was like my game of the year, mm. like the year it was released. It was yeah. like a fucking incredible game. Same yeah. with like Zelda as well. Breath of the Wild completely revolutionized the gaming, uh, the open world, the open world genre mm. after it got released. So there have been like there have been like big IPs that have that have had killer apps. But mm. for me, yeah. what always confused me up about Pokemon is that it sells like fucking hotcakes. It's yeah. it it breaks every kind of record imaginable, and then. I look at the game reviews and then every every time a new game comes out, it's like, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's good. It's because yeah. it's because I feel Pokemon generally are appealing to two types of player bases, the children Gamers. and the old school Pokemon mm. fans. Right, right. They're not trying to get like this new adult fan base that who has never played Pokemon before yeah. because they know there's no Pokemon game that they can make that will be like like a 20 year old po you know kid mm. yeah. who's never played a Pokemon game will be like, yeah, you know what? I yeah, should I give mean, that like, game a go. You know, they're not going to do that. It's like water. Everyone drinks water, whereas <laughs> Breath of Breath the wild is like the most exquisite wine, right? It's like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta be 21. I gotta have some money. And I, ah, oh, man, I gotta be in wine. Like, if you like Breath that, the it's, the, it's the best, carry on of games. It's like the best thing ever. If you, if you have that, that you know, you wanna get into it, but Pokemon is so, so basic and Pokemon's so standard. Pokemon's the Fiji water of games. It's literally just, it's any, anyone can drink it. You know what I mean? Anyone, anyone can drink anyone it. Anyone on earth and anyone likes it. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah right, everyone's, it's gonna, everyone's yeah. gonna drink it, but no one's gonna be, you know, ejaculating over a bottle of Fiji water. You know, yeah. they're just gonna be like, yeah, it, it quenched my thirst. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm satisfied. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. Personally, I'm just like kind of over Pokemon. I'm like, I kind of yeah. enjoy it when there's a Nuzlocke or something fun to do. No, with and, it, I, uh, and that's the thing. I totally get that, which yeah. is why I always find it frustrating when these fucking Pokemon fans are like, no, no, no. I swear, this is the new, this is the generation that everyone has to play. I'm like, no, they don't. Because at the end of the day, it's a fucking children's game. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. I thought Pokemon yeah. fans hate everything. They do. <laughs> oh, okay. But Pokemon fans are the type of motherfuckers who will be like, you know, first week of Violent Scarlet coming out being yeah. like, this game looks like shit. And yeah. then a week later, they'll be like, all right, I'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, they'll complain about everything. Yeah, it's, it's funny you're talking about this because I've just been, I, ju I just finished drinking the finest wine. <laughs> uh, the, the, the finest top tier wine because I think I might've The breath found... of the wild of wine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think I might've found like a game that's come into like my new top 10 games all, of all time uh, because I just finished playing God of War, the new God of War. Oh, okay, oh. Okay. and yeah. that is, it's it's like incredible. In yeah, like I've heard, so. every, yeah, every I've heard. sense of the words. Mm. And I'm just like, fuck it's, I, I, I finished it like two days ago and it's been a while since I've just finished a video game. I'm like, I don't know what to do with my life now. Like, <laughs> like I just feel an, an emptiness and I just looked yeah. at like other, cause after playing God of War, I was just like, I wanted to play some other games and I just looked through my game list and I was like, none of this is doing anything for me. I, I don't know <laughs> what to do. None of this excites me anymore. None of this excites me anymore. How how on earth do I become I a gamer thrive. again? <laughs> you have the post not clarity of games. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah I, I did, don't know what I to did. do anymore. I don't know. You know it's... what you should do? Play what? Skull and Violet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, would, that would just make it worse. Cause then I would just start playing it. I'm like, this is this isn't good. No, I'll, dude, because you you'll you'll understand. <laughs> the story is really Wait, good. How long is the PS, and the music's really good? How long has the PS5 been out for? Uh, like a year, two years, yeah, not two years, two years, because it, it came uh, out during it, pandemic. It really? Didn't, didn't I it? thought it was like two and a half. Yeah, I, th I think it's like two and a half years. God yeah, damn. I just realized I'm like I, I have I've had a PS5 and I've only gamed on it like one time. Um, Bro, God of War, I, I think you would really like it. Do I need to play the previous God of yes, War? Yes, you do. See, that's the problem yes. is that I gotta go and play the old one. Mm. I'm like, oh. Have you played any of them? No, 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 it's no. it's it's all like the, the second one, ba basically, mm. um, you, have you played stuff like The Last of Us or mm -hmm. Uncharted or stuff like that? Cause it's kind of like in the same kind of vein where it is, like kind of like a cinematic experience. Yeah, I, I, I've just seen with a lot gameplay. of it. I've seen a lot of yeah, it. It yeah, looks yeah. really good. Yeah. I just, I don't know if I have the heart of me to go and play the old one just to play the new one. I'm well, like, actually, like the old one, I, th I think the old one is fucking fan is a fantastic game by itself mm. as well. Um, and by itself, it's still a fantastic game. You're not losing anything by playing the old one. Yeah. The only thing, um, like the old one builds on these like gameplay ideas and stuff like that. And one of the biggest criticisms of the old one was there was just not enough 
variation in one, like the boss battles mm -hmm. and two enemy types. Um, and like, and like kind of like the gameplay itself. And that's just because with the first one, they were completely rebuilding the franchise from yeah, the ground yeah, up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I actually really liked, you know, the new, like when they introduced like new gameplay is a bit yeah. slower, a bit heavier, but I think that's the perfect introduction to this new game, which yeah. takes all of the ideas from this old game and then builds on everything basically. Okay, that's good. Mm. So, so when playing the old one, you'll, you'll get like the freshness of like, oh, yeah. this feels good, this feels good. Mm. And then just as it's about to get boring, then, then you finish the game and mm. then you can go to the new one where all these new ideas start getting mm. iterated and added on. And right. I think it's like the perfect journey as well from playing like the first one to the second one. Because one, the story's amazing in I both heard. games. Mm. Um, and I'm surprised that they, it, I'm surprised they only did two games because I expected it to be a trilogy of sorts, mm. but no, it's it's after two games, the entire story arc is ended now. So oh. it's it's the entire story arc oh. of uh, of the Nordic gods, uh, this, this Nordic arc mm -hmm. per se. And yeah, honestly, one of the best video game stories I've uh, ever experienced. Sam, now you got to finish Elden Ring so you can find out what game of the year is this year. Yeah, I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I okay, here's the thing. I even even if I finish Elden Ring, I don't think it could beat God of War for me because Ooh. you know you know me. Story <laughs> story important aspects, yeah. of course. There's but, a lot of story in Elden Ring. I heard there's yeah, a lot of story in Elden Ring. Tell me the story in Elden Ring. There was a lot. There was a lot. I just, I'll let you know when I finish. There's a yeah. ring of some kind, yeah. I guess. Because, okay, here's, here's, here's the thing. Uh, what playing God of War made me realize, mm. and uh, this is- Do you want to play a movie? Huh? Do you want to no, play? No, 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 no. It's, no, I would play Death Stranding for that. Actually, actually the opposite. Actually the opposite. It made me realize, okay, I actually do really care about gameplay, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but like, okay. So let me, let me break this down, right? So there are some very much Elden Ring souls like bosses in God of War that okay. are really, really challenging. Um, but yeah. you really have to, it's a like a side quest, right? Okay. So it's not the main quest story. Optional so boss. It's optional bosses. Yeah. So the hardest bosses in the game have nothing to do with the mainline story, mm. right? Oh, that's good. I like it when and, you do that. Mm. And basically God of War was one of those games that I enjoyed so much that I wanted to complete, like I 100%ed I hundred percent the game, which is Ooh. only the second game in my life that I've ever 100%ed, which just shows what, how wait, much- what? Wait, what's your first one? Huh? My first one is a uh, Tales game, Tales of Symphonia. What the fuck? Wait, you've never, before that you'd never hundred percent of the game? No. And I, what? Okay, I'll tell you, uh, I'll, I'll get to that. I'll, I'll get to that. Because what happened is I would complete the story and I'm like, okay, done. Why well, I don't need to play this game anymore. Right? You, know, you never thought, wow, this game is fun. I wonder if I should just do the rest of the game. No, no, no. That's, that's my point, right? Because what I really liked about God of War is that you can do like one, one thing, side quest, Side quests are fucking incredible. They have as much impact into your emotions and the story. I, I feel like as much as mainline quest lines, right? Mm. That's that's one thing that makes a really, really special game. That's why everyone loves The Witcher 3 and stuff like that. God of War has the same kind of philosophy where you can do the mainline quests, but the side quests are, in my opinion, just as high quality mm. as the mainline quests. Yeah. So I wanted to do every single aspect of this game. Mm -hmm. Um, and so by being really, really high quality, it, uh, it tricked me into doing the optional bosses, right? <laughs> because otherwise I would have no interest in doing these optional hard bosses uh, because I'm like, I'm here for the story. Mm. But because the quality of the story was so high, yeah. it tricked me into wanting to do the optional bosses. And in that process, I really, really fucking enjoyed my time just challenging myself and just, you know, doing like the whole souls kind of repeat, die, repeat, die. And after about 20 fucking tries, you finally get that boss and like, that feels fucking great. Yeah. I know I wouldn't have done that if there wasn't a storyline to play through, right? It's, right. it's it's like I, with gameplay, in order for me like to- Like you want it to be immersed in rather than just tacked on at the end. I need, I need to know that there's a payoff at the end right. other than just an intrinsic <laughs> well, payoff, isn't, right? Isn't the payoff- What the fuck, wait, so you just can't, you're like, you play a game and you're the only point of playing the game is so that you know the ending's good? Yeah, so I know that. What? So I know that what? I get rewarded with something most of the time. It's Wait, but story. Isn't, isn't the payoff the fact that you 100% complete the game? But you like fighting games, right? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, like, I, do, I, not, I do not like play a game. You're like. 
like, oh, this mechanics are fun. I want to keep playing this. You're like, you're like, I've got. I hope this is paying off soon. I, I, I'll find out. <laughs> I, I, I think finding games are different because I think competitive games are different because you get the satisfaction of beating a human opponent, right? Mm. Whereas, whereas in you know Souls like games, I really, really enjoy the bosses. But there's yeah. even though I feel really, really satisfied, there's just there's always this part missing where I want. I want to know I'm working towards something. I want to know I'm working towards a storyline or, you know, a cutscene or something. Is self-improvement not a, something you're working towards? <sighs> is that not valuable? That's, that's why I, I, that's why I could never really get into competitive games. I'm, I, I, well, I mean, like for <laughs> like, if I, when I played like Elden Ring, I'm like, oh, I really enjoyed the aspect of understanding the game mechanics and getting better at doing it. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed yeah. that. I enjoyed getting better at it. See, I didn't see, necessarily care about what see, I was getting, I, why I, I was getting I better. enjoyed that as well, but it's not the core reason I would ever play a game. Okay. Because mm. I that I I can appreciate it, but well, yeah, it's, it's yeah, kind of it's yeah. kind of like it's you, alpha, you right? need you need to trick me into getting me I, to care I'm not, about I'm it. I'm not going to just get better at any kind of thing that allows me yeah. to get better. Like there needs which, to be something else there. Which is why which is why I'm really I'm really curious to see how you how you react to God of War, right? Because I think God of War is like, I've never seen such a perfect marriage of gameplay and story mm. that blends so seamlessly. Mm. God of War got me to care about gameplay because it's so seamlessly blended in okay. with the combat. So, so I was saying so, so, so seamlessly in, <laughs> it blended so seamlessly in with the story that it actually got me to care about the gameplay. So there's a chance that Connor might actually care about the story. I'm, I'm, one, I'm wondering <laughs> if he could do the impossible and get Connor to care about the story I because it got me to care about the gameplay. Wow. It got me to 100% the game, I fucking Love the gameplay, love the mechanics. It got me to learn. Like it's it's one of those gameplay mechanics that's easy to pick up, but really, really hard to master when you get to like some of the really tough optional bosses and stuff like that. Um, and it got me to really care about that, which I would never usually spend mm. this many hours like learning learning the mechanics mm. of the gameplay. Um, but I did it because the story is amazing, and I wanted to grind through the story, and I wanted to experience as much of this world and as much of these characters um, as I could. That. Um, Santa Monica studio have written and have mm. like built up in this world. I wanted to experience and just spend more time with them. And that's why I wanted to grind through the gameplay was because it was just such a pleasure to spend time in this world and the story. I'm wondering if it could get you to care about the story and the world I'm building. Possibly. That's that's awesome. 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 I, heard was, I heard the story is very complicated. Um, first one is very- First one's simple. And the second one I heard is very like complicated. I mean, kind of it's, I, I'm, I'm used to JRPG storylines. This, well, is, no, a, JRPG this story is a line. simple ass JRPG, story, JRPG, man. JRPG We've played 13 Sentinels, it's fine. <laughs> no, no. Okay, JRPG storylines, you're like, oh, what do you mean you didn't read the full Wikipedia page before starting this arc? And it's like, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm not gonna go out and Google shit. Yeah. Just let me play the game. Like if I- God, I wanna watch Connor play 13 if, Sentinels so if bad I, now. I, I, if, Holy if shit. This game requires you to like study outside mm. of the game or yeah. read shit outside of the game, then yeah. I think it's failed as a game. Oh, it's no. like a it's, story. It's 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 not a no. In fact, I've way preferred the second game because the story had the story was a bit more complicated. There were a lot more aspects. Connor, to you it. forget. Gaunt's a fate fan. Yeah, I, I, I love that. Shit that shit. I love that. Shit. Shit that but it's not sense. even it's not even complicated. I don't think it's it's like <laughs> I'm I'm just think I'm just thinking because like the first the first game was about as simple as you can get. Okay, mm. let, let let me let me tell you the story of the first game. Okay. Yeah. So so Kratos is a dad in I this know. one. He mm. has a wife. Boy. His wife dies and his wife says, "Please spread my ashes on the highest peak on the realms." Mm -hmm. And the first game is them going to the highest realm. Mm, and okay, then spreading cool. her ashes, that's and hype. that's that's the game. That's right? nice. That's hype. Yeah, I like that. Nice and then, yeah, that's that's easy. Mm. Easy. Second game, um, it's about time travel comes in <laughs> <laughs> multiple dimensions. So there's Kratos Blue, right? Yeah. And so Kratos <laughs> Super Saiyan Kratos. <laughs> yeah. The second game is more about well, they don't want Kratos doesn't want to go to war because he's even though he's the god of war, he doesn't <laughs> really want to go to war. I respect uh, it. And then inevitably they find uh, he ends up going to war. Yeah, and that's yeah. a very simplified version right, well, thank you, of it, the man. events, but that's basically what happens. Okay, you know, there's, okay. yeah, they needed to find a reason for conflict to happen. And that's why I think the second game is a bit more, a bit more mm. like has more moving parts. But mm. at the end of the day, it's compared to like some 
other movies or some other okay. stories. I, th I mean, I I think the fucking MCU is more complicated than game uh, than God of War. So it's it's not a complicated yeah, the story. The MCU is all. not complicated out of design. It's complicated because they're trying to milk it and then yeah. now it's getting out of hand. Yeah. And also it's shit. Yeah. Like if Sorry. you can follow shit like Game of Thrones or most, I mean, most TV shows, it, God of War is not that complicated at all. It, it can be if you like go into like the lore and like the world building mm. and everything like that. But in terms of like the, the core story, it's, it's fine. It's mm. fine. That makes sense. You, you, your monkey brain can follow along. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Today's sponsor is PayPal Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Boys, the holidays are coming up. How do you feel about your shopping experience? Oh, I'm dreading it, Joey. I'm dreading it. <sighs> You're telling me you have to go outside and shop, Joey? Japan's open right now. Tourists are here. Well, how do you guys feel about the online shopping experience? But just that promo code's oh. taunting you. Oh. Well, thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes, thing of the past. <gasps> Honey's the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones it finds to your cart. I actually tried to get my Christmas shopping done a little bit early today. Ooh. And I bought something for my wife. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, mm -hmm. but I saved $15 on Ooh. my Christmas present, guys. Yeah. You can save even more when you ask Honey to keep track of price drops on your holiday shopping list. Ooh. If the price drops Ooh, on anything okay. on your list, you'll instantly get an alert to let you know. And if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by yeah. getting it, you'll not only be doing yourself mm. a solid, however mm -hmm. you're buying your presents for a solid, but also you'll be helping out the boys, the boys. as well. So get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash trash taste. That's joinhoney.com slash trash taste. This episode is sponsored by Boxer. Ho, 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 boys. The most wonderful time <gasps> is upon us. Crimbus? Yes, that one. And you know what would make this time even better? Telling children Santa isn't real? No. Gingerbread lattes? No. The correct answer is sharing this month's themed boxing with <gasps> your friends and family, guys. <laughs> oh! Longtime viewers of the channel would know what Boxu is, but we love Boxu. They work with family businesses all over Japan to send you a new theme of goodies every single month. And this month being the month of December, the final month of this year, we have the Hokkaido Wonderland theme. Ooh. We've traveled to Hokkaido a bunch of times ourselves and even went to the most northern point of Japan mm -hmm. in Hokkaido, which you can watch on the Japan Trash Taste hey. Special. Mm. And we can assure you that Hokkaido is a splendid place to visit. Joey, what do you got there? I got here a miruku manju, manju being like a sweet dumpling. And as you know, Hokkaido is known for their exquisite milk. Oh, yes. Ooh, well, that's actually really nice. What do you got there, Gant? I have here a white milk boucher, which Ooh. is kind of like a cream cake. Oh, that's big. That looks big. It's chunky. Ooh, like the bird itself, man. <laughs> Good. Very boucher. It's very boucher. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you get your boxer in the mail, you can feel good knowing that you're supporting family businesses and supporting the boys this holiday season as well. So if you want to get your friends and family members a wonderful gift this holiday season, get them a boxer box and support the channel. Use our code Trash Taste and the link in the description down below to save $15 off your order. Happy holidays. Back to the show. What else? What have we talked about recently? <laughs> I, I remember, did everybody speak about House of Dragon? I watched that. That was really oh, good. Oh, I've started watching that. It's so good. Yeah. It's so, so good. What Watch is it. that? It's, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> is it it's, complicated? <laughs> no, it's it's um uh prequel, but it's sort of connected to Game of Thrones, but it, it sort of is, sort of, it's like right. 300, 400 years before Game of Thrones. Do I have to watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> no, no, okay. no, not at all. Not okay. at all. Just making sure yeah, it's, it's really alone. good. And it's got Matt Smith and he's really good in it. Matt Smith is great in it. He's fucking awesome. Okay. Love Matt yeah. Smith. He's so good. I think I'm like three episodes in right now. It's I don't know how you could watch three episodes and be like, I'll come back to this. It's 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 okay. It's, it's just, so good. It's <laughs> so good. Oh God. God forbid we have other <sighs> shit going on. <laughs> Fuck but you. no, like it's so good that it's like I I would not be able to rest until I've continued watching everything right, that's available. Right. I mean, it, it reminds me of like early Game of Thrones. We're not gonna bring up this like <laughs> Can of worms again, right? Because oh yeah, God, yeah, 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 that's opinions. right. Oh wait, oh yeah, because you didn't like early game. You didn't actually like good television. That was <laughs> right. You want shit. Television. It's 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 not that I don't. Okay, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna bring this back up because oh I remember I remember God. when Charlie I remember when Charlie was talking about. Remember when we filmed the Charlie episode? And he was like, yeah, I think like I think like anime fans are pretty chill. I I, I think like <laughs> film and TV fans are the most toxic. I was like, ah, I don't know, Charlie. And then the fucking episode came out. To be fair, I your take was so colossal. Fossilly shit that I think everyone across the board filmed. The thing is, uh, was, I don't even I think, think- even, I, I think even people who've never watched Game of Thrones are like, I don't- It's probably I, bad. I, Cause I, I look back at it and I'm like, I, st I, still, I still agree with that take because- <laughs> <laughs> It's because I didn't even say, okay, here's the, th here's the thing that confuses me, right? Here's the yeah. thing that confuses me. I didn't even say that, I, I didn't even say that I thought the first 
like half of Game of Thrones was better. I just said I preferred like the latter half of Game of Thrones. <laughs> you may as well say the same thing. Why? I mean, Why? There's the, there's a big fucking difference. Okay, okay. Here's here's, okay. here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing. Okay. Go on, explain okay. yourself. I I will explain. I will explain myself. Okay. <laughs> I will explain myself. I will. Go on, okay. Go on. Tell me what you're wrong. Okay. So. Uh, I, I think I, I mentioned this briefly in a recent video I did, but to me, I value stuff more, like mm -hmm. even if it's not perfectly executed versus something that might be highly claimed, highly like very, very well executed. Mm -hmm. That doesn't appeal to me. The reason the, reason the mm -hmm. latter half of the Game of Thrones appealed to me more than the early seasons of Game of Thrones is in the early season of Game of Thrones, Great writing, great television, okay? But a lot of the stories in Game of Thrones, it, was, it wasn't it was like five stories that were interconnected. They mm. were like five separate stories. So you had the stories going with, you had the story with mm. King's Landing, the story with mm. Daenerys, the story up on the wall. Yeah. They were all really interesting stories, but they were all like their own kind of individual stories mm -hmm. in that mm. sense. And what really interests me and what I love seeing, in, what, I lo what I value and what I love seeing is different elements kind of like colliding in together. So. I, the thing I was waiting for in Game of Thrones was to see these separate entities, these separate elements yeah. start colliding in together, right? Yeah. And then I still really, really appreciated the first four seasons of the Game of Thrones. But when I really, really started to get interested was, you know, uh, when Tyrion, you know, got shipped off to Daenerys and I was like, oh, okay, we're seeing one character interact with another character. And then, and then elements start colliding together. Mm. And I found that interesting. And then, you know, when, I'm not gonna say season eight was fucking even close to <laughs> right. good. It was shit. Okay, when I say I prefer the latter seasons, everything but season eight. Season eight was shit. Yeah. But like season six and season seven, I would say they were they were a bit messy. Mm -hmm. They weren't well executed, mm -hmm. but yeah. they had elements in them that I was waiting to see for Game of Thrones this entire time. Mm. And to I, I you know I can say that I think the first four seasons were better written, but I can also say that. Even though the latter seasons were more messily executed, had mm. worse writing, I still I still see them as very very entertaining television. I still see them. I I, th I think the reason people clown on the latter seasons so far so much is because the first four seasons were so fucking good, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, so I'll, I'll I'll explain this without spoiling anything and without you know going into mm. too much detail. Mm. Um, so the the. You mentioned that like they're all individual stories about because the, the way it works, Jerry, is that Game of Thrones will like be like, here's here's this scene where it's happening at this location, right. and, and then another scene in this location across the other side of the country. Mm. Yeah, and so it was <clears throat> like Gon said, it was building up to that stuff was kind of gradually they were kind of intertwining. Yeah, yeah. But, and the first three four seasons, there's stuff happening, and it, and it tended to be quite insular, but there would be stuff that happened quite a lot that would have rippling effects. And I think the reason why people like Game of Thrones so much. Mm was that if any other writer had had written it, it, it you know, they, it would have, they, when something happened in Game of Thrones, mm. it was very like slow burn and minute how it would ripple, but, but everything was into consideration. Mm. If yeah. somebody did or said something, it would have such a like really subtle effect or every single like- There's effect no unnecessary detail. Yeah, there was yeah. every single interaction was so carefully considered. Yeah. And I, I, what really pissed off a lot of fans is that <clears throat> one after the like season four, it kind of went to like, okay, these characters just fundamentally just changed. Like they just weren't writing them the same as they were in the first four seasons. Mm -hmm. They weren't as intelligent. They started becoming more dumbed down. And also mm -hmm. like, Travel became really, really fast Traveled, as well. Yeah, so before mm. in, in Game of Thrones, often yeah. someone was traveling, it would genuinely take like a, maybe a season for someone to travel somewhere. Right. Yeah. Or, or maybe a few episodes. Mm -hmm. um, and even then that might've been too fast, right? Mm. Like yeah. I, I, it was it was all very subtle and very, very- Realistic in a yeah. way. It was meant to be like a serious political drama where yes. if you said something and pissed off the wrong person, maybe in a season or two, Mm. When they when they go to somewhere else, it might have a ramification, right? Yeah. And they were, every single thing was taken into consideration. All the character interactions were so perfect. Mm. And then in season five, six, seven, eight, it started getting dumber and dumber and dumber. And like you mentioned, like like there's a character called Tyrion who was typically quite smart, and he just becomes a fucking stupid idiot in like mm. the past in the past like uh, three seasons. At the end, he just becomes dumb and and is com the complete different character to what he was written as originally. Yeah. So people were pissed off because all the characters got stupider. And and none of the like the ramifications were happening. It was just kind of like duh, big fight happened now. Mm -hmm. And then 
characters would suddenly have a lot more plot armor than before, and right. suddenly characters that in situations- Kind of stooping down to the lowest common denominator. Yeah, right? yeah because yeah. One, of the, one of the things that Game of Thrones did really well, if you haven't seen it, is mm. that when a character would be in a fight, they had written it so well that you genuinely didn't know mm. who was gonna live and die. Yeah. Like mm. there was, the plot armor was never transparent. It was never like apparent, sorry. Yeah. And you never felt like someone could 100% live just because they were this character. Yeah. Because right. the first season sets it up that, hey, you know, characters are gonna die right away. Like yeah. characters that you thought were the main person or characters you thought were very important to the story will mm. die. Yeah. And towards <laughs> the end, it was like, this is the main character, they will not die. Yeah. And no matter what situation we put them in, you can be pretty sure that then there's not gonna be consequences. And I think, mm. so it became less like a, a very, very thought out written TV show and kind of went to a triple A Hollywood movie where we know the main guy wins at the end. And, yeah. and I think that was the problem. Like it is went it, down to like a regular formula that everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, because right. even the writers, they said like publicly, they were like, hey, we want to make it so that some, like a football player who doesn't care about fantasy can enjoy right. it. And it was like, okay, so yeah. the writers just fully admit that they dumbed it down. <laughs> yeah. Like it just went dumb. And yes, those moments that everyone was waiting for these big fights and these big like collidings of worlds and, and all, all of these like kind of rivalries coming out to play would have been fucking amazing if they were written correctly. Oh no. But they weren't. But obviously they were still, it was still as a fan who had probably watched five seasons, a part of you is still like, oh, this is still kind of cool. Like you're still right. like this, the battles, you're like, eh, it's kind of hype. And, but, do you, and do you think that happened I mean, because like the fan base got more like, I guess more generalized because of the popularity there's a, there's of the show? There's a few reasons. Uh, so, there's a few reasons. One is that they kind of ran out of books to uh, adapt. So yeah, and, the books only yeah. went to about halfway. You could see such a big shift in the writing from when they just ran out of materials. Cause mm. uh, I, I believe Joe R. R. Martin gave him like, gave them the baseline of where the story yeah, he didn't was going to go, right. but not yeah. like the nuances, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I, I look at this latest season of Game of Thrones and I'm like, where these character ends up, where these characters end up makes sense story-wise. How they ended up there does not make sense at all. Mm. Yeah, you know? a lot of things were also mentioned yeah. and then never brought up again. Yeah, And also they had requested, I can't remember, it was supposed to be 10 seasons. Yeah. And for some reason mm. it ended up being eight. Yeah. And, it, so and they you can it? feel, yeah. you feel that it's eight. Like, right. yeah. but even with how bad the writing was, I, I, I don't know if it even would have still been good by the end of it, because like, mm. it was so shit. Yeah, I mean, I see. I, I don't. But, I don't think it was shit. I think was. like okay. If, if season I, eight was hot garbage, dude. See, okay, season eight hot garbage. I'd say season five to seven. It, it was yeah, five, five and five, six. Five to seven downhill. was like a solid eight. Eight out of ten. Seven was not good. Seven was not good. Really? I don't like seven either. I think I think five is where you start to see the cracks. Six is where it starts to get worrying. Seven is where you're like, oh, oh, it's ruined. And then eight is like, oh god, oh god, oh god. Mm. Eight was so bad. Eight, eight was, was really eight, eight, bad. Eight was horrible. Could you eight. imagine that you've been with something for like 12, <laughs> 10 years of your life? And then right at the end, they're like, let's just fuck it all up. Let's make it shit. And, <laughs> and I thought, I genuinely thought, I was like, I'm over Game of Thrones. I'm yeah. done. I don't care about this world anymore. Yeah. I'm, I, I do not yeah. care. And yeah. then House of Dragons started. It's so good. And it made me realize just how amazing like the world of Game of Thrones is. And I'm sure people watching this don't give a fuck about Game of Thrones, but genuinely the world is so interesting. Mm. I think it's one of, if not my favorite like fantasy world. It is, um, it is. That's, I think the way it's been built up is so realistic and mm -hmm. you could see some kind of parallels to the real world and how yeah. seriously politics is right, taken and right. played. No, that's, 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 that's the reason I got invested in the world of Game of Thrones. And that's the reason I've really still enjoyed the later seasons. It's mm. because you got to see different aspects of this world collide together. And I just, you know, when you've, when you've, watch enough things, I, you just come to realize, you, I know what my tastes are, you know? Yeah. I can still appreciate good television, but I know what core elements appeal to mm. me. And there are more core elements that appeal to me in the later seasons of Game of Thrones, even if it was more messily executed. And I've just come to value that more. And I feel mm. like there are, a lot of shows out there. There are, there are a lot of, I mean, I fucking like, I, I, of course I would say this, I fucking like Isekai, right? Yeah. But like, but like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but like there are enough games, enough shows, enough movies that are out there that might not be perfectly executed, might not have the best execution, but I still on a personal enjoyment level, mm. still really, really like even more so than maybe some critically can't cl critically acclaimed shows mm. in that same genre. Right? Yeah, because if to me, like if I were to use like an anime analogy for me, as someone who's never seen Game of Thrones, it sounded like it started off as like, you know, the, the political fantasy and, you know, very nuanced type of heavily detailed world of something like Kingdom. Yeah. And then went to something like 
fairy tale. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, it went, it went. went like, Where it's like plot armor, nothing makes sense, but the main guy wins and there's lots of big it's, fights. It's you just know? like, it's insane when you, when you watch, uh, or you read about how, you know, very subtle things have happened in the show. You're mm. like, this yeah. is insane. Like the level of detail yeah. Yeah. And, and thought that's put into how all of these worlds and mm. characters interact is just insane. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's kingdom to fairy tale. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's genuinely like, like it, so it, game, yeah. of, game of Thrones turned into a show in it yeah. from the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably why I enjoyed yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully he finishes the books. I, I, yeah. I, I, people are not no. holding I mean, I mean, like I would still have preferred the later seasons with all these elements combining to be mm -hmm. with the same nuances mm -hmm. of the, like, that would be in the perfect world. Right. But I still right. got, I, I still got what I wanted and mm. I was entertained thoroughly. Mm. Um, and you know, I, I was just, I, I was just thinking, is this really hotter than my bread take? You know, it's yes. just, yeah, is, it was, is this, yeah. is this really hotter than my bread If you, if you ask Game of take? Thrones fans, probably. Uh, yeah. I, I'm just like, oh, all I, all I was trying to say is I have my own fucking you, okay, preferences. You have to understand, right? I think the Game of Thrones ending and final season was like one of the biggest betrayals of like TV yeah. like to, to the fan base. More than Game of Thrones. It's very on brand. I, I, yeah, right? Like it's literally on brand. Like, can you think of a TV show that burn its fan base harder? Like I, I, I genuinely can't. Like I can't think of anything that is up to, was that hyped, mm. was that big of a deal that yeah. fucked up that bad. Like, <laughs> like fair, no, no, fairy tale. No, they fucking still love it. And I mean, no, 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 fucking no, cares no, about no, 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 I've seen plenty of shows go to shit. Uh, but you, okay, not on the scale that Game of Thrones did it, right? It, this was like a, you know, every- yeah, It did literally, it was like a day and night difference. It was like, like it went from oh, everybody yeah. loves this shit to now everyone Everyone in it. the Western world was talking about this yeah, shit. Yeah, it yeah, was nonstop. And it also just goes to show clearly how impactful that was that mm, when yeah. they were able to green light so many spinoffs that, <laughs> you know, even though everyone was like, Game of Thrones fucking sucks. Mm. That when they brought out this new prequel that they shovel, shoved way too much fucking money into, mm. that the moment the first episode dropped, everyone was like, hype, this hype, is what we want. hype, yeah, hype, yeah. it's so good. Everyone get back on this. It's actually hype, it's mm. actually good. And to be fair, the first season was fucking amazing. They only have like one book um, to work off of and it's finished. The story's completely done, mm. yeah. but they're gonna make like three or four seasons from just one book mm. um, and it's insane. Like even the George R. R. Martin has said that some of the characters in the TV show are portrayed better in the TV show than in his mind on the book. Oh, wow. He's like, he. Uh, there's, there's a character in particular that was done really well. Mm. And he said like, oh, I wish I could go back and redo those pages now. I wish I could tear no. them out because it's, so, it's so much better on TV. Damn. It's yeah. so, 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 so good. Please, if, if you got burnt on Game of Thrones, give House of Dragon a shot. It's so worth your time. It's so good. Yeah. It's probably one of my favorite like first seasons of TV in a long time. Wow, all right. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I I will finish it. So so good. It's, it's I, so I will I will nice. reserve my opinion. I'm sure everyone's <laughs> raring to hear my opinion on House of Dragons. It comes back like it's gonna be like it's like it's I'm gonna be like I'm gonna kill you, Gon. <laughs> if, if they added some more plot armor, then I would have liked it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's good. Like like I said, I'm I I always. I, with certain TV shows, I can appreciate. I can always appreciate good TV, but mm. sometimes I just sometimes I'm just waiting for something to interest me, and I, I don't always know what that is. Sometimes it's a certain like plot element. Mm. Sometimes it's like the cinematography or the way it's like filmed or something like that. Yeah, it's. I get it. There are just some. There are some shows where it's just like I can't explain why I like this. Like I know it sucks. Yeah, like, but I just love. Like, I don't know, Love Island. You know, like any other- <laughs> You, you any, like Love Island? No, no, no. Like Love Island. I'm using that as an example. <laughs> I don't like Love Island. Uh, actually, no, no, I don't like it. I take that. Love is Blind, for example, right? Like, I fucking love that show. I know mm. that show's trash. It's just, no. it's, it's fucking reality TV, right? But, yeah. and I can't explain why it's good. Yeah. I just can't stop watching it. Yeah, you know, it's, so. it's like it's like any isekai show, right? It's like you can't explain why it's good. You probably know it sucks, but you probably but you're gonna ha keep watching it. Has has there has there ever been a show that you you know is like flawed? Not yeah. not like it's not like something that's like obviously trash tea, but but you know yeah. it's like flawed, not executed perfectly. But there's not been another show like it, and you just like you know what? I'm I'm a look over it. You know, <sighs> I I still enjoy it. Cause like for me, I, I recently just made a video about it. It was Recreators, which yeah. is, it's got like such a unique idea in mm. terms of just like, you know. I realized if, when I watched the video, I watched it by the way. Oh, you watched it? Yeah. yeah. I completely forgot about it. Yeah, because <laughs> because one thing I've noticed is that you either, like that, sh that kind of show, you either think it's just okay, but mm. everyone who likes that show 
really, really, really fucking likes that show. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, and I'm one of those people, and that's just because it was like it, it wasn't like the best executed, but it just had such an interesting, unique idea that mm. you don't see anywhere else. Mm. That you were just like, okay, you know, maybe I, I don't really give a shit. I don't really give a shit. I really enjoyed it. I feel it, it was definitely like, a, like it. it was definitely like a polarizing show when it was airing because yeah. I remember it's like you either like fucking love this show or you yeah. are like, yeah. I do remember when it aired. Good. I, yeah. I remember the conversation surrounding it. Yeah, and I yeah. watched it, and I think I only watched four or five episodes, and I stopped because yeah. there's too much talking. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and it was it, the pace bogged down a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because like I, I think that's why a lot of you know that's why the indie game scene has like grown so much. Mm. Whereas it's like it's these game developers who instead of trying to compete against the AAA games, doing like the you know as much as I love God of War, it does very much go with the AAA game formula. Or well, at least it deserves the AAA yeah, title. It, it yeah, it deserves the AAA game title and like a lot of other AAA games. But mm. I feel like the indie game scene has grown so much because you have a lot of these developers who are just like I really like this one idea and I don't see any other game doing just this one idea True. and doing it really, really Jump well. King. Huh? Jump King. Jump King. <laughs> <laughs> Is that name a better jumping? Game. I'll wait. I'll wait. Mario. <laughs> no, not as good. Yeah, I my guess, man's invented jumping. I game. guess. I guess James games like jumping, where you take this really, really core idea and yeah. focus on nothing else but that core idea. Is it going to appeal to the masses? No, but the people who like it, they really, really, sure. really like it. You know. Mm -hmm. And well, I feel a lot, like a lot of the best games that came out, you know, in the past five, ten years, have, a lot of them have been indie games. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. talk about like. Like Undertale when that was out, right? That mm. was insane. That, yeah. that was everywhere. Mm -hmm. that, I still gotta play Undertale. It's so good. I, it's I, good. I, oh, memes aside, <laughs> Megalovania and Sans okay. memes aside. Here's, here's, I don't give a fuck. Okay, here's, okay. Here's, 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 <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Megalovania is probably one of the best fucking pieces <laughs> of music in a video game it's I've heard good. in a long time. It's pretty I know good. the memes exist, but every time I hear it, I'm like, I play that shit at the gym yeah. when I'm working. I'm just like, this is fucking no, that's, hype that's, as fuck. That's it's too such a, hype for the gym. Yeah. No, it's, it gets me pumped up. I'm like, I gotta defeat Sans. Yeah. <laughs> God, what are you gonna ask about yeah, what it? You gonna say? Will I still enjoy it? Yes. Despite the fact that I've been exposed to so much of it. I think so, like yeah. Stuff I think, like that. Yeah. No, no matter how you get exposed to it, I think it, the ultimately the experience you have with it is definitely gonna be different. From how yeah. it is. It's a, I feel it's a very personal game where like, you know, cause again, I feel the story is very dependent on how you perceive it and how you want to go about it. Cause it has the multiple endings and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Right? So it's like, I feel it's it's a really good game to just kind of like sit down and play with yourself and really just like get fully immersed in it. Yeah. Um, Because I feel like, I don't know, I tried streaming it once and I'm like, I couldn't really get into it because there's just like too many outside just forces. And just time. like, yeah, I think yeah. I would say it's a, a game to just like play on your own terms. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Also, the music is and story is amazing because Toby Fox is- Yeah, the story is really good. I yeah. mean, I cared about it, so yeah. that's saying something. <laughs> that's that's tough to get There's... me to be like, oh, I'm sad. Is it is it a hot take to say that I think Toby Fox is a better musician than he's a storyteller? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure what other music he's done. He did some music for Pokemon. He did a lot of too, pieces right? for the new Pokemon. Well, he's very game. talented either way. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's super talented. This is guy. like, this is like, no matter what, well, which one he's better at, he's still yeah. better than me at everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That he's better, is true. He's better than everyone true. at everything. He's yeah. true, that is true. Some people got it all. Yeah, okay. it's not Ta fair. Like talk, talking about like very niche games that would, you know, only appeal to you. I, I, there's been a game series that I've been thinking about getting into. It's mm. it's a very very niche JRPG series. Mm. Oh god! Um, <laughs> I, I, you, something like this you would fucking hate, Connor. Mm. Um, but I don't I don't even know if I have the heart to commit to this. <laughs> what? Right? What? Uh, have you ever heard of like the Trails of Atlia series or Trails what the of the Fuck the is Sky? that? Yes, I have heard of that. Okay, okay, so I've never played them. So <laughs> so I've been like. So for the past like two months, I've been trying to like psych myself up to see if it's if it's worth getting into. So so let let let, let me sounds so familiar. Okay, let, let me break let me break this down to you. Okay, so I I I hear like bits and pieces of this of this game series, right? And then the first thing I search up is how to get into the trail series on YouTube. And I swear to God, one of the top videos the the video was how to how to how to get into the trail series. One hour and 50 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bro, what the and, fuck? I, and, and I was like, oh, oh boy, oh boy. And I was, I was like, surely, surely there's a shorter video than one hour and 50 minutes. The shortest video I could find was a 20 minute explanation. That's the shortest, that's the shortest. So this is, this is like setting up the stage for the type of game series that this, this game that series is. Okay, but, yes, yes, I have, I have yeah. seen this before. <laughs> Yeah. That's uh, the Kiseki series. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I've never gotten into them though, because okay. I've heard it's I've, like, I've, it's got I've, such a high benchmark to oh, like get into. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, so before before even deciding, okay. So I'll explain it to you, Joey, because okay. I've, I've, done, I've, I've done research just to see if I want to get into this <laughs> game, okay? I haven't even just played the game. Yeah. I've, I've watched like, I've watched like the, these full videos just to see if I wanted to play this right, game. Right. Uh, because it's a game series that has run on for about 15 years or something yeah, now, right? Yeah. It's got 11 games. Mm. And what what I find really, really interesting and why I'm like, ooh, should I commit to this game? Is that every game is following on from one giant overarching story. Mm. So it's, it's a game where you have, it's, According, you know, according to a lot of the people that play, it's got one of the best examples of world building in gaming period. It's like the one piece yeah, of I video games. games. I'm sure I could fucking make a big world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's like, it takes place in this one, all 11 games takes place in this one kind of like big universe, right? Mm. And each game, it it's, it's similar to, I guess, something like Game of Thrones, right? Where, you know, you have individual story arcs in different countries, different areas of this world that slowly interconnect and mingle mm -hmm. and start to like characters from previous games start to like have a proper big effect on characters on story arcs in like a different country. Mm -hmm. And then they slowly start to mingle in and collide together. And I'm like, fuck, that, that's, that sounds, like that sounds that like sounds like season six of Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like everything I want in a fucking game. That yeah. sounds like everything I want in a video game series. Eleven but games. It sounds like and it's, it's still ongoing. God, as well. I'm never gonna fucking see it. I know. I know. It kind of sounds like the Dune of video games. You know, where kind it's of. Like, kind it's of. like different planets and like the planets interact with one another. Yeah. But it's all based in this one. You and know, it's all based on this one. And, yeah. and like one of the biggest things I've heard is that it's not like it's not like different games cameo into each other. It's not. Like Right. One person cameos into this this different game. It's like prop games have a proper impact on what happens. Oh, I'm getting stressed out just hearing. Yeah, this. like the story the story arcs of one game have a proper impact to what happens in a different country oh, different country hell. story arc. And I'm like, holy shit! You know, Gan, I'm about to finish the Pokemon game. <laughs> um, if you're committed, <laughs> no, I, I'd be down. I'd be down to try and combat this beast <laughs> with you. <laughs> Thank your career. I'm, gonna, <laughs> do this. I'm ready. I'm ready for this raid fight. If you are, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 honestly like I've I, I remember I remember like reading something about it. I was like, this this sounds something like I could be interested in. And yeah. the more I researched, the more I'm like, fuck this. This seems like a game that I would really enjoy. But yeah, I can't. 11 games, 11 games. Maybe I'll just watch one other video. Just uh, maybe I'll let watch me, one me watch other how to. Well, let, let me watch one more hour and 30 minute video. So, so the thing is, is imagine this RPG where every single, the NPCs that you meet, you can actually play them in the later games. So in total- That sounds shit, half of that. Sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Why the fuck would I care about playing as an NPC? At the end of the games, you have like 30 plus characters. That, 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 just, that just means, Every character matters and every character. Oh. Yes. Oh, that sounds like, oh, okay. Cause I've so seen, good. I've seen oh. this first game trails in the sky. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 had, I think I had a friend who had this, uh, on like windows, I think. <laughs> um, and he was like, <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I specifically remember, I, I remember the bar of entry being so high for this game series. Yeah. Cause my friend was like, uh, he was playing this game and I'm like, oh, that's a really cool game. What is it? And he's like, you shouldn't know. You don't you don't need to know. You don't want to know. know. <laughs> Should every character matter? <laughs> I, I disagree. I don't think every character should matter. I, I mean, I don't know. it depends if it's, if it's if a story, you will have main mm. characters. There will be ones who impact of that course. story more. Uh, but and I think it's okay to have NPCs and characters that don't really do much. No, no, but I think it's a cool concept where, mm. you know, you, you can be NPCs in someone else's story but at the same time, that doesn't mean you can't have your own story, which just sounds like it's- it's See, because so I've read the Dune books 
and it's exactly the same. <laughs> See, okay, Where it's, I, like, I, I, it's like the I mean, NPCs in this first book are now the main characters in this latter book. I mean, and I, it makes I, sense. I like the Dune world. I just think yeah. that yeah. when you just, the way you're describing it to me, it sounds awful. Um, Cause at least Dune is like, hey, here's a nice, here's a nice like sandwich. Have a, have a little bite of this sandwich. That's, right, and yeah. then it's fucking ginormous. And you don't realize how big the sandwich is. You right. really had a bite and you're like, well, that tastes pretty good actually. I think I'll, I think I'll have another Does bite. Does this not yeah. sound like that too? No, this sounds like, hey. That's, that's only because you know how many, that's only because people know how many games are in this series. I know yeah. how much Dune there is, but also like, I, I just was like, oh, fuck it, I'll watch the movie. It seems good. Uh, you yeah. know, that's a palatable way to-, to Well, then I'll do this out. I'll be like, oh, I'll play this first game. See if it's good. Yeah. Oh, that sounds and if it's good, you you had to watch an hour video just to just to play the game. What are you talking about? That's not that's not accessible. Wait, let me let me see how long it takes on average to beat the first game. That's, this, this is too much. This is uh, too much. For, for, for me, it was it was mostly just. I, I think I was just tell me you won't you don't one hundred percent other games, but you're like I'll get into this five hundred hour game collection. Yes, yes. What's yeah. wrong with you? Yes. Just, I, 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 okay, like I said, if I know that there's a payoff, if I know that there is- There can not be a payoff worth if, 500 if, there, if there's something that I really like and really appeals to me, I will be willing to grind through heaven and hell to oh. fucking get to that. According to how long to beat, main story, 40 hours, easy. Oh, easy, easy. easy. For one game? <laughs> yeah. But if you care about the NPCs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, yeah. It says oh completionist God. is 65, which is not too bad. <sighs> what do you fucking mean not too bad? That's a full-time job for a week. Dude, completionist for like Final <laughs> Fantasy X is like 120 hours. I think they And I've made, done that before, I so think it's game devs and like on JRPGs, <laughs> like, cause you know, I used to, um, I used to care about gamer score. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> You what, know, like, like Pac Man and Gamer School? Xbox Gamer School. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. You, you told Because I know that this. sometimes you like play against someone in COD, right? And yeah. you want to shit talk them. And yeah. then you open yeah. up that profile, like, oh, he's has got, got 200 Gamer School. <laughs> Fucking loser. Yeah. So they'd open up my profile. I'd be like 90,000 Gamer School. And they'd be like, oh, shit, I want to mess with this guy. Well, no, I want to be the same way. If I interact with another JRPG player, they'll be like, oh, you're a JRPG <laughs> fan? What have you played? And then I'll be like, finish the entire trail series. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, oh, we got a Giga Chat here, <laughs> boys. I just like the, I like the quantifiable number. Mm, and so yeah. I used to just play games a lot and I would just play some games that were bad. But there is a quantifiable number, 11 yeah. games. <laughs> yeah, is it like a score, a score that you can show to other people and people right, see, right? right? Oh, okay, so that's yeah. what I enjoyed. Mm, but I yeah. would play games I didn't even like just mm. to get the stupid score. I would like buy games that were rated easy online to get 1000, like right, full yeah. gamer score. Cause you could only get 1000 gamer score on every game. And okay. the DLC you could add more. You were gaming the games. You, I, you, I literally, was, you literally I did, turned a game. Gamifying the you games. You literally turned playing, playing games yeah, into I, a game. I don't know what yeah. happened. There was like three years where I was obsessed with this thing where mm. I was like, I just care about getting this number go up. I get yeah. that. So I would play like, I, put, I bought like Lost the game. You know, yeah. Lost the TV series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought that game because it was like five bucks. Just to get a thousand gamer points? Because it was really quick to get a thousand gamer score. And right, then, yeah. you know, I I also then, <laughs> some of my friends want a gamer score. And I was like, well, I'll do it for you. If you give me 2,100 Microsoft points, I'll get you, I'll get you like 5,000 gamer score. And I would just do it in a day because I had like loads Were of games. Were you hustling gamer scores? <laughs> yeah, I would, I would, if someone wanted gamer score, because I, I, again, I wanted, I wanted points. So I would kind of yeah. do, I would figure out ways through gaming. I was like, how can I use my talent? Gaming mm. to get Microsoft. My talent, my game. talent gaming. <laughs> I'm good. So, so what are your what are your talents? I I'm really good. I game, at this, I'm really good and addicted to this gaming thing. Can I get money from it, or can I get some way to get more games yeah. from it? So yeah. I would I would like mess. I would like my friends would want some people to do it, mm. and then I would message people. I'm like, hey, if you want gamer score, do it. Not. I sounded sketchy as fuck, <laughs> but I actually did it. Like if they gave me the points, I I would log in their account and I would just play these games. Hey kid, you want your gamer scores? But then, and then, <laughs> but then if they wanted me to do specific games, I'd be like, ah, oh, that's a, that's a toughie, dude. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna need more. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I realized, oh, you can just take the internet out of your Xbox, get a USB and like download a file, and it will just fucking do it for you. And I was like, and then I felt really dumb that I was spending like a day or two. <laughs> doing this. Uh, oh my God. Um, but yeah, no, I, I would, I, I was obsessed with it. I would mm. buy games for it. I would do yeah. achievements that was stupidly hard, mm. spend hours, like days, like yeah. Halo. I would spend days getting all the Halo achievements. Cause yeah, they, I mean, they, that makes sense. And, and then, and then I would get infuriated when I would buy a game that I thought was good mm. and mm -hmm. the, they would have impossible achievements in it. And you know who, mm. which ones were always the worst? Mm. JRPGs, always, <laughs> always the worst. The Final 100% Fantasy, completions. Yeah. Final Fantasy, these stupid fucking games would be like, get every single item in the game. Yeah. It's like, yeah. You're, yeah. you're psychopaths. Like you you willingly chose this achievement to fuck me. <laughs> I, 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 I did that for the new seven, are they? Yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> I, 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 th I think the reason I 
just never 100% games was because I did it once with Tails. And then I was like, never again. Mm. Never 100% of a Tails game? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I loved it. That, to be fair- That's that, like 200 hours. That, that, you know, you can remember back in the day when you only had like that one game to play until next Christmas. Sure, sure. Like for, to me, for me, that was Tails. That was when I had time and I was like, I don't know what to do. I have no that other was, video I, games. That was Pokemon Sapphire I used to think that me. like having like, so like having to go somewhere for like one day mm. was like made me a busy man. And then yeah. I, could, I could spend the rest of the days playing video games. I was like, damn, that one day thing crushed me. <laughs> now I'm like, bro, I'll Six kill. Days of games now. now I'm like, I will kill for one hour. Where I would, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would do anything. Yeah. Sure. I would literally do anything for an hour. True, true. Yeah, it's, it's really weird for me with the video games because I can never play for like one or two hour stints. It always, if, if, I, if I have a video game I like, mm. I need to play for at least like four hours or oh, something. Man. Being able to enjoy a game for like 20 minutes and then just do something else is hype. Right, it takes me 20 minutes just to get like invested into like the game. Well, that's again. why Overwatch and games like that are pretty fun because you can just do like two games, 30 minutes, go back to whatever you're doing. Pretty nice. That's why I just play Mahjong. <laughs> no, I mean, I, it's that's, the same that's thing, right? That. It's like, you can, like, you can yeah, get a quick game out of it. You want to reset your brain. You mm -hmm. want to like kind yeah. of just take your mind off what the work is for like 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. You know, and maybe you don't want to take but a then break. Then like break. one game turns into like two games. <laughs> and okay, like, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> and then at that point, I'm just like, uh, and then at that point, I'm just like, well, I'm five games of Marjorie Deep. I, I might am, as well have just started a JRPG. Bro, like going on tour with Connor, our entire- Hold on, no, 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 that's different. That is different because- Our entire- about. Our that entire schedule revolved around whether Connor had started a game of Tia <laughs> fucking T or not. We would be like, yo, Connor, rehearsals in five minutes. And Connor's like, but but I just started, I just a, started game a game. Of, I just started a game no, of TFT, no. guys. I, was, I never played near our rehearsal time. That's, <laughs> That's that, a fucking lie. That's you a lie. Know it, no, no. At most, I would push it back five minutes. <laughs> That's that's not true. <laughs> I would play a lot of TFT because we didn't really have anything to do a lot of the time. Mm. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll just game. But if, in, in normal work, it's like, I will pretty much, I will work from like nine to 10 nonstop. Uh -huh. And then I'll, I'll have to take a break at some point and play some games. Cause otherwise I'll get, my brain will be like- Wait, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m.? 10 p.m. Okay, I was about yeah. to say, I'm like, I'll work <laughs> that solid I hour. Do, yeah. I will and do then it's one two hour hours of TFT. work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I normally have to like stream and then I'll be like, all right, now I have to do real work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Doesn't count. Now I'm going to answer emails. I, I had too much fun. I got yeah. to gotta feel like I didn't have fun. Yeah, exactly. Yo, speak for yourself. Stream is like pure, pure gamer right here. Stream is definitely work for me. Yeah, stream yeah. is work for me. I don't actually like it. It's fun. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I it gaming. depends on the game for me. I was thinking like, should I stream God of War? And I was just like, no, I just, because I, I, I wanted to just be like, immersed in the game and just say You're nothing. like, damn, this story's really good. Think of the five subs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant the, the only way that we'll be able to get through the trail series is if we stream all <laughs> That's that. true. That is like true. realistically. Yeah, so, so that's the thing, right? If there's a game that is too long, it mm. makes no sense to play it off stream. Cause you know, it's a, it's a big time sink. So you should play it But on then stream. there's no point doing it on stream either because then Why? viewers will just fall off. Yeah, right. true, maybe, yeah. maybe. Cause I tried to do that with Yakuza 7 and like after people 11 not, streams, people, not care. people just don't care. So I'm nah. like, fuck it. I'll just finish this game. I think, I think it depends on the game. Cause like, you know. Like, Pokemon, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Because it's like, you can just tune in whenever you immediately know what the fuck's happening. There's no concrete story. You can just immediately be like, oh, you're trying to catch some Pokemon. Cool. I'll join in. But like, you know, 10 streams into Yakuza 7, where it's like the story is pretty much fleshed out at that point. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Therefore, I'm not going to stay. I think people need to, enough people need to have played a game where it has to have like a really hardcore fan base, yeah. like, you know, Final Fantasy Online or, yeah. you know, Genshin even, you know. Mm. Genshin streamer. Genshin, uh, you, because that's you be, why Genshin is such an easy great game to stream. that streamer. Yeah. yeah, the streamer that plays that game. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. It's such an investment, and that you know anyone who would want to watch would also be interested in that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, honestly, it's it's also games that interest hey, me as well. So you know, are you, are you, who's, who's going to be the world's first trail streamer? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to no, be one no, out there, right? No one cares. Don't do that. Do not do that. Because <laughs> like trails, I'm like this. This I see some like trails, and I'm just like this will never, ever, ever be popular. But holy shit, yeah. it. Like it just speaks to me. There's five know? Japanese you, dudes somewhere in the world who are like the hu most hardcore trails <laughs> yeah. fans. who are just like, please the, the, give it to me. The more I get into streaming, the more I want to do non-game streams. Like the more I want to do like, I want right. to go fishing. I wanna, yeah. I, that's the that's the OG game. Yeah. <laughs> Can I eat today? <laughs> like I feel like I want to play the analog. Like, game. like I'm yeah. more interested in streaming like classical stupid shit, like like yeah. fishing or like yeah. outdoor stuff that I think is like kind of games or like you know mm. games before games. 
games. Yeah, yeah. Or, <laughs> you know, activities. I'm like- Games that don't involve videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Gamers I don't discovers grass. Like, yeah, discovers literally. grass. Ga- gamers be like, wait, games existed before games? Yeah. Hey, you're <laughs> like, yo, the graphics of this fishing game is really, wait, this Whoa. is just fishing. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I, wanna, I, I don't know why. The more I'm like, real life stuff seems more fun. <laughs> I don't know why. Real life, gra- real life stuff is great, but when are they going to patch this mechanic, man? Yeah. Just like- <laughs> I can't believe fishing yo, copy the, the, that fishing time game, the, the time the fish is too long, they need yeah. to re- like the reduce fish, it. The yeah. fish is like too much RNG, man. I, yeah. like, where did, this, this is just like gacha, but like fucking- <laughs> Yeah, so I've, done fish, I've actually done fishing a few times in Japan now. All right. <laughs> we, I did the fishing with Maylene in the ocean. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That was, that was, uh, that was, that was fucking that was, hard mode fishing. That- <laughs> That was just hard. Much harder than uh, lake fishing. Lake fishing and river fishing is nice. I yeah. like it. That's the, like the, the perfect balance. Yeah, you you get fishes uh, at a good pace. Mm. Yeah, you know, and you, you and it's much more relaxing as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can mean. sit down on yeah. the boat. You're like fucking. <laughs> oh god, am I gonna get a fish? I don't know for like four hours, yeah. and then you don't get any fish because yeah. you, you're and like you just seasick and wet. <laughs> it's just shit. Yeah. And then you can't like you want to go to the toilet. You have to go in this shitty little boat. To- like I just I. Everything about I just want to piss off the sucked. edge of the boat, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We went. I, I went on this uh, fishing thing with Maylene, and it was it was fun. Mm. Uh, it was just too long. It was like it was like eight hours on like on the water. Yeah, because like, cause I, when I had done it three hours, man. Mm. Yeah, because I went like lake fishing again after I went like sea fishing with Maylin and mm-hmm. I just realized, damn, lake fishing is just it. It's just so much more chill. <laughs> and I'm like, it's I go the see- yeah. It's about the, yeah. the friends who made along the way. Yeah, and I go sea fishing and I was like, oh, this is why fishing is a job, you know? Cause it's, <laughs> it's hard, it's hard work. It's shit. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm wet, I'm soaking. And you know, I, we'd be, I'd be there for hours, right? And I, w- I would be staring at these like old Japanese men who were like nuts at it. And I was yeah. literally copying everything they were doing. I thought yeah. I was. Yo, so they, they had the strap. Clearly you know? I wasn't doing it. Cause like I, I would, I swear to God, I would like literally one for one mimic exactly what he was doing. And I could not get a fish to save my life. I got like two fish total. This, these dudes, bro, it was yeah, like- but that's like, that's like being like, you know, oh, I'm gonna play Dark Souls and no, no, watch no, no, this I, Dark Souls no, no, speed no, runner no, no, I rec- and just do exactly what they do. No, you know? I, I recognize that like, I'm definitely not, these dudes have been doing it their whole life. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and the thing that I liked about like, and, and sea fishing was really fucking hard because mm. the technique matters a lot. Yeah. Yes. Um, Whereas in a lake, you're like, plop, yeah, wait. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's it. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's fun. You can chat, you can chill out. Yeah. You want to drink a beer. Because sea fishing, yeah. you got to like pull it, you keep pulling it back pulling and forth. It, right. make the lure These, yeah. these yeah. dudes are nuts, dude. Yeah. These, these Japanese men. I mean, it's in it's in the blood, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, 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 it's generation. Uh, this man yeah. throws it in two seconds. Got like five on one hook. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is happening, man? And I mean, he's just like, out of pity, he's like, here's a fish. Gen- genuinely, out of oh pity, out of pity, he's like, bro, I've caught too many. I'm like, I, hey, you want one? <laughs> yeah, sea fishing was just frustrating for me because right. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? I actually have no idea yeah, what I'm, I'm doing wrong. Insane. Yeah, and maylene has been a ton, and Maylene wasn't getting any. I'm yeah. like, right. don't you do this often? <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting more fish? <laughs> yeah, because I did the exactly the same way where you, there were some Japanese men like catching like literally a bucket full of fish. Yeah. I like mimic everything they're doing the right way. Nothing. Yeah. I throw it in, nuts. nothing. Nuts. Throw it in, nothing. It's cause and- they had the, the, the fucking like cracked uh, fishing pole. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had the, the school the school uh, sports hall po- fishing pole. They're yeah. like, ah, we got a pole. We put a line on the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You, I, had a, you had a stick with a piece they, of string. Yeah. They, they felt so bad for us that when we docked and went mm. back in, cause you pay like 15 bucks to go out and fish. Yeah. And you're allowed to catch as many fish as you want. So yeah. there's some quarter. Did they give you free fish as well? The, yeah, the dude they was get- like, that's it? <laughs> Yo, hold on. We caught like a ton the other day. Yo, he's a bag. <laughs> he doesn't wow. Know he was, I guess he just felt bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the same thing. But it's to also, us as well. But like, I feel them doing that is like backhanded because like the gamer in you was like, <laughs> no, I, I can do I, better. I mean, it's not that I was frustrated. Don't pity me. So to, just to clarify, I'm not frustrated because I didn't get enough fish. Yeah. I'm frustrated because I, I hated the whole the vibe of it and how yes. long you were dedicated to it's like a raid battle. Yeah. And you know, you you dock and then you drive out on the boat for yeah. like an hour yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're just the sun, it was, it was in like August. So the sun is destroying mm, you yeah. as well. And you're like this, this fucking sucks. Yeah, because yeah. unlike unlike lake fishing, sea fishing is a commitment. You can't yeah. just be like, oh, just just dock somewhere. Let's just chill out, you know, somewhere. Go, go. Yeah. You know, just just go. You can't pull the camping like, chairs out and put the beer in. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. You can't exactly. do that. It's it's a commitment, <laughs> and unfortunately, the sea is the sea. You know, and mm. if if 
if you need a place to rest, you still like, it's still rocking a lot yeah. because it's the sea and it's a lot more intense than lake fishing. I was actually like sweating at a point doing uh, doing sea fishing because mm. it's like- It's, it's a workout. It's, 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 it's so much more intense because you're constantly having to do something. It's not a passive activity, it's an active activity. Yeah. Um, but you get you get like bigger fish for it, you know. That's that's the trade off. Sometimes, oh, if, you sometimes, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> if you can catch it, sometimes if you can catch it, yeah. Little uh, fish are fine too. They taste good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're right. fine. They're fine. <laughs> they're good. Yeah, I want the five stars though, man. I'm waiting for my first uh, five star, man. Yeah, but catching big fish is way harder than getting uh, little fish. Like a lot, lot more. Different. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. But then we're not capable of that, guy. <laughs> we we got to stay in our lane. <laughs> Twenty years too late. <laughs> But I, I, I just want to know what that feels like. You know, I want to, I want to know. I want to know. I want to get that chasing SSR, that high, man. Yeah, chasing that high. Pull the rod. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that is, we, we, us mere mortals, we haven't been fishing for like twenty years. <laughs> yeah. We don't get to. We don't get to do that. <coughs> no. I don't know. There's other sports I really want to do as well. More. I want to do more sports. Essentially, is what I'm I the same. Do. Yeah. Just want to do more kayaking. Mm. I want to do a lot more of that. I want to. I want to surf as well. At some I went. Point. I went surfing with Felix the other day. Yeah. Oh, that was it? Yeah. Intense. Like, it is. It's a good it workout. Is. It's an incredible workout. But I. It just made me realize how unfit I actually am. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Same here. I could have told you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I knew. No, I knew. But like, it just it just reaffirmed my suspicions, yeah. right? Because yeah. it's like I was probably out there for what, maybe two hours. Yeah. yeah. And I was just fucking destroyed. <laughs> like because it's it's the part that it's it's the paddling out that just yeah. takes all the energy out no, of you. No, no, no. And maybe it's because like I, I heard I saw some people you know saying like oh it's because you were in like cold waters mm. and that just saps the energy out of you more than like yeah. summer warm waters and stuff that's like true. that. But I think that's only up to a certain extent. Like you need to be at a certain level of fitness. <laughs> guys, yeah. you guys but are, that's actually- You guys matter. are on copium. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's copium. It's like, yeah. you know, but um, no, it was really fun. Like even if uh, like I didn't, I probably maybe caught one wave and I didn't even stand up for it, obviously, but like even just like catching that one wave while on your stomach. It, it does seem hard. It's it's hard. It is yeah. very hard, but it's super fucking fun. And like, yeah, I, I definitely want to go back. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I remember trying surfing for the first time as well. Mm. It's so much fucking fun. But like you said, you spend most of your energy not actually doing surfing. It's actually like- Paddling out. It's like getting out yeah. because you have to like go against the waves. Yeah. And you, don't, you don't realize how much energy that takes until yeah. you realize you, you spend all this energy to maybe like to get one chance to yeah. catch like a wave, right? Yeah. And if you don't catch it, then you then you fucked up and you got to paddle out all over again, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 a lot it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of waiting as well. It's a lot of waiting, especially obviously. if like the, yeah. the waves are kind of mediocre, like it was when we went. Yeah. yeah. Um. It's just like a lot of like, oh, is it hitting up? Yeah. Oh, is it hitting up? And you're just sitting in the water for maybe thirty minutes. Yeah. Freezing your ass off, right? Because yeah. you're not moving at all. Mm. And then the one burst of energy you have to use to catch that wave yeah. that you might not even actually catch. Yeah. You just get way close to the shore and you go. Well, fuck, now I gotta paddle back out again <laughs> yeah. and use up all this energy it's, it's on like, not surfing. It's like yeah. with skiing or snowboarding, it's fucking easy because uh, like the fucking ski lift does all the work for you to get yeah, out it's, to the it's, plate. It's like, it's like if you went skiing, except the ski lift wasn't lurking, working and you had to walk up yeah, the mountain walk up every the mountain, time. And then you have to use all this energy for like a 10th of the time to go down. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. well, guess I gotta go all up all the way again. Where's the ski lift <laughs> yeah. for surfing? Man? That's what we need. Just like pick me up, drop me off and put me in the ocean. <laughs> but also you, I, I I, I don't know why my streamer brand, I'm like, what's, I wonder what outdoor sports that are cool that would work for streaming. Like, okay, surfing doesn't work. No, no. Surfing, surfing there's doesn't water. Work. If, yeah. there, if there's, if there's if you water, are getting wet yeah. or submerged, it doesn't work. So yeah, like yeah. anything like that done. Mm. Kayaking could work, but if you go too far out to the ocean, there's no signal. Yeah. yeah. So you got to kayak around somewhere, maybe in a river. Skiing or, and snowboarding maybe? See, okay, I thought about this. I thought skiing or snowboarding could, could work and, it, and technically it's possible. But uh. I wondered, would it look shit on camera? Cause it's literally just white. Uh, it's just white and then you're going fast down. So there's like opportunities to talk and stuff, but I'm like, I don't know if it could be interesting. You would also need, I guess, maybe like a wide lens mm. to, you know, kind of capture you and the rest of the thing. Because well, it's the, just like- the, the camera I have is very wide. Okay, well, okay. It's a really wide I lens. mean, it might work. Yeah. Yeah. But I, mean, I guess yeah. also like, is there like, it. but like some mountains I know don't have a great signal either. Yeah, yeah. it depends. It depends. It depends on the mountain. Mm. Depends on the mountain. Yeah. I don't know. I just want to do more weird outdoor stuff. No, I get And also you. I, I just, I want to do more sports outdoors, yeah. but it's hard to convince anyone. I feel I'm, like most I'm down. Okay, okay, good, good. Yeah. I'll, I'll hold you to that. Yeah. <laughs> be no, like because extreme like, mountain climber. Cause I went, cause I went surfing with Felix and then the week after we went to driving yeah. range. 
Oh, to yeah. like just play oh, a little bit of golf. And it's like, and it's, and it's fun yeah. as fuck. It's like, oh, I actually kind of missed mm. doing this during the pandemic because yeah. I just got so fucking lazy because we couldn't go outside, mm. didn't couldn't move our body because no one else was yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. All the places were closed, and, but now everything else is open and people are like, yeah, I kind of want to get back into shape or like, I kind of want to move yeah. my body. I'm yeah. like, well, let's fucking go. Move, move my body. Down. Move my body. I, 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 I can move my I, body I, when I, I'm playing I God like, of War. <laughs> my thumbs are working just fine. I like trips that are like focused around doing an activity, right? Right, where yeah. you like maybe go for two days to like kayak somewhere yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. or to surf or something. Mm, I, I like mm. that because I feel like, okay, well, it's a it's a holiday, but also you get to relax, you get to mm. do some exercise. It's like, mm, you feel mm. like you get some endorphins. It's all, yeah. it's all good. Yeah, I'm down, Problem man. is a lot of those sports that require, uh, they're like expensive or you need equipment or someone who's good to teach you, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A lot, of the, a lot of those sports require knowledge. Entry points well, it's, quite it's, high. It's yeah. like, it's, yeah, it's the point of entry, right? Where yeah. That's part of the reason I never went skiing or snowboarding, just mm. because- You need someone who can help you. Yeah, tell the you. barrier of entry was so high and yeah. no one in my family ever skied or snowboarded when yeah, I was younger. True, so I true. was just like, well, I guess- uh, I guess I'm, I'm never, never going. Guess I'm never going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's no, true actually, it, yeah. it for sure helps. Yeah. Um, I, I wondered, that there's definitely a scene for very odd extreme sports. I know there's like a scene for um, actually hunting in Japan. Really? Yeah, you yeah. can, you can, you can- uh, Like with live animals or just like yeah, the, the clay pigeons? Uh, live animals. Oh, really? You can do it in Japan. Wow. I was, I, for some reason I stumbled across something and I was reading about it. It's quite interesting. Oh. Yeah. It seemed like it's, you have to, it's a very long process to get a gun in Japan. Yeah, it is. Um, but it can be done and you yeah. can hunt in Japan. Didn't wow. know there was a scene for hunting in Japan. Didn't Apparently think so either. Yeah. I thought, I, I thought everything was fucking protected. No, no, yeah. no. There's certain animals that you can hunt. Oh. Certain oh. birds that know that. Fun fact, Japan, Japan often has a scene for very like niche sports, oh, yeah. Yeah. but you need to, I, I wouldn't even know how you'd even begin to mm. get into stuff like that here. That's yeah. the problem. It's like a lot of like, I feel Japan is the one country where there are so many small, cool little niches that you can get into, whether mm. it's like physical or just like hobby based or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But like, it's either the point of entry is so high or the community surrounding it is so small and hidden or gatekeeping yeah. that it's just like kind of hard to be like, can I join? Yeah. And, you know, yeah. without them being like, oh, you want to be a train otaku? Name five trains. It's like, <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, yeah. well, fuck off. You know, it's like, there's always that. Cause like, cause I wanted to do a video on like, kind of the weird, like, you know, like the the, the small little mm -hmm. like niche otaku spheres, like the train otakus or the military yeah, otakus. Yeah. But the problem is a lot of those people <clears throat> just don't want to be public about it and don't want to yeah. talk about it because yeah. they don't want it to be like a mainstream thing. You know, they want to yeah. keep it in their small niche. I know that some of the train attackers- Is that game, is that gatekeepy? I don't know. Maybe it's- It, 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 it is gatekeeping. Yeah. <laughs> it, it totally is gatekeeping, <laughs> but I, I you know. know. I, I wonder if that's just a Japanese mentality of, I don't really want to be yeah. on camera. Um, that could cause, be Because I, I saw well. some of them on the, if you ever watched the James May, series in Japan. Oh yes, yes. He, oh, yeah, he yeah. talked to some train mm. otakus Fuck. and he was like- I need a TV production he was like, behind so, me, I guess. So why do you like trains? And they were like, and he was just saying something. He's like, all right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool. All right. That's cool. All right. I, I actually yeah. saw a gun store in Japan. Like live guns? Yeah, like a gun store. I walked past a gun store. Damn. And I was like, oh. Where was it, Shibuya? No, I remember I walked past it. I can only think of the one in fucking- <laughs> Yeah, that's what, I was thinking of. that's what I was thinking as well. I'm like, no, that's no. Shibuya, right? No, it was, it was, in, it was in Saitama. I, I remember walking past it and being like, that's a lot of guns. Wow. And I was like, that- Like real guns, not like- Real, real guns, guns, real guns. Wow. Definitely real guns. It was definitely real. Okay. I oh, remember shit. seeing, cause I saw the, some of the stuff outside and I was like, mm. oh yeah, that's real. That's real. <laughs> oh right. shit. No, because airsoft guns, will, they will have, what's the word they call it? They, they have um the, they'll have like survival game written over it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I doubt real guns would have- Survival, survival game? <laughs> survival game. Yeah, that's what they call, they call <laughs> airsoft- Hardcore mode. Yeah, they yeah. call airsoft survival game in Japan. Survival game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which mm. makes it sound way more hype than airsoft. Yeah. See, airsoft, airsoft is a bad name. It, yeah. I feel like it makes it sound way wimpier than it actually is. Like, yeah. Psh, it's like, oh, airsoft, oh, air. oh, soft, is it? Soft, oh, Survival game. <laughs> survival <laughs> game. <laughs> You're like, whoa, ho, ho. You're like, I'm, oh, wow, I gotta survive? Like, oh, fuck, all right. <laughs> like, I'm down. <laughs> So I, I feel like Airsoft done itself dirty with that name. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> but I, mean, I've, I mean, when when gas when you, guns or something. Yeah. I mean, when you're in America with like real guns, you need you need something to like it's offset true, that. Yeah, yeah, you, know? Yeah. you know, you you're just like I I want to I want to shoot some guns, but I don't want to shoot something that could kill someone. Yeah. Maybe maybe something so maybe that's just a like bit very soft. much maybe much hurt someone. Let's call yeah. it yeah. airsoft. And there's guns. a bunch of airsoft bars in Japan. As well, oh, you yeah, yeah, went to yeah, 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 yeah. That was so much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very funny. Uh, get going like, "Suimasen, shotgun hitotsu." Can I have one shotgun? It was so much fun. 
Oh uh, yeah. I, I heard you've been to one before as well, right? I went to one in Sendai, yeah. Yeah, there's, if you go to Japan, maybe just Google airsoft bars. They're yeah. pretty fun. You can drink and then shoot guns. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty fun. There's much uh, in Tokyo, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, I, I mean, if you look for very niche odd bars, there, there's so many of them. Yeah. Just go on TikTok awesome. at this point, right? That's that's the places you find them I, now. Yeah. I didn't know that I wanted it. I needed to shoot a, a grenade launcher in my life, but I now I did. Yeah. Uh, I know damn. I need that. That was so much fun. Shooting a grenade launcher and then being like, oh, I'll have a sip of my drink now. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. That was very fun. I mean, Hell talking yeah. about things that appeal to niche tastes, it's like Japan is the country of that. Oh yeah. No, hundred percent. Yeah, not yeah. just in video games, but in every game. Everything. In real life. Yeah. <laughs> real life games. Real life games. The non-video games. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, I just remember the, we went to that fishing restaurant. I hate that place so much. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so there's place. this restaurant you can go to in Japan and it's a very big touristy place. Yeah. Um, there's a few of them in Japan. Um, and where, you, yeah, where you can fish your own fish, right? You are, you, uh, you, okay, so yeah, you fish your, you fish the, the fish and then you eat it, right? And, and they'll ask you how, you how you want it prepared. But these fish are like dead. So you have mm. to like stab them with the hook. You don't yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't catch them. You kind of have to shimmy the hook into the part of their body and then drag them out. Yeah. It's very like, oh, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah. And it's like really oh. And, and also like they don't even use the fish that you even fish up, right? Like they, they have like a different fish prepared. I don't, know if that, I, I don't know if that's a rumor, but I mean, I, w I would hope so. <laughs> Just oh. from seeing how half dead some of these fish are. I'm like, I'm I, don't know sure. if I'm the, I don't know if they're good to yeah. eat. Dude. Like Food is mid as well. It's all right. It's fine. I mean, it's it's, it's fine. just it's yeah. mid. It's just it's like fine. the sushi was fine. It's, it's fine. fine. I was just like, damn it, it's acceptable. <laughs> Wish I ate other sushi. <laughs> like what? Just anything else. Anything else. <laughs> even sushi doll. Sushi doll. Yeah, like take the, me to a sushi doll, bro. Yeah, sushi uh, sushi chains in Japan, even like the hundred yen ones, pretty fucking yeah. good. They're yeah. pretty decent. They they do the trick. As long as it's not, don't get the sushi from the conveyor belt. Just order it from the tablet. Yeah, get it fresh. Yeah. I mean, I, I noticed now that it's even if I go to a conveyor belt sushi place, it's rare that it's full of sushi anymore. Mm. Most of the time people just order from the tablets nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. And it's- Cause it's like, why would I want the sushi that's been going around for 40 minutes? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The sushi they just made. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like that sounds much better. I'll do yeah. that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Even like the cheapest sushi chain you can find in Japan is like better than some of the expensive sushi that oh, you can gotcha. find like worldwide. So that's mm. why I, in, in a sense, I prefer going to like cheap conveyor belt sushis and some of like the more higher end sushi places mm. because mm. it's rare that I'm ever full in like the higher end sushi places, you know? Yeah. yeah. But I- Omikaze, is that what it is? Yeah, omikaze, yeah. Omikaze, yeah. It's, it's rare that I'm, that I'm ever full and I just feel guilty like ordering more from the mm. chef to be like, you didn't feed me enough, <laughs> give me more. And then you order like one or two more pieces. I'm like, fuck, how do I no, tell? No, I don't think they mind. I don't <laughs> think they mind that No, much. they don't mind because <clears throat> they're still getting the money for yeah, it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're <laughs> paying. Pay. It's like, Dude, oh, it's yeah. like, oh, you're not full too bad. $200, please. It, 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 okay, so question, because I assume you, your dad's obviously been to Japan a bunch. Does he yeah. love all, all the sushi? And, or is he, he kind of- He doesn't picky? love everything. I mean, he, you know, he'll eat like the majority of like the fish and stuff yeah. like that. But you know, some of the weirder ones, like like he doesn't like natto or like yeah. the sperm sacks or- yeah. uh, Fuck, you know, fuck the sperm sacks. Any of that kind yeah. of, or like, I don't even think he likes uni. If I, I don't, I'm not too sure, but like yeah, he obviously like, like, but if it's just like, a regular white fish or, or you good. know, whatever, salmon, I'm, you'll eat that. Yeah. So obviously my, my parents want to come visit Japan mm. and I'm like, damn, I don't know if they're gonna, what kind of sushi they'll like. Yeah. Have, you, have you thought about this? I mean, I've, I've probably, had to think about this actually. Do you think your parents are gonna like sushi? Um, okay, so I've not, I've thought about this for both my parents. <laughs> you're, you're like <laughs> sitting now like Shinji, like <laughs> yeah, what yeah. food should I take them to? I don't <laughs> because, know what they'll appreciate. Uh, because, you know, um, I have my parents coming and then I also have Sydney's parents coming as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, uh, how can I describe Sydney's parents? Like- Okay, so my parents are very, very white British. Yeah. You know what I right, mean? Right. <laughs> it's it's so like- How do I get them to eat anything that isn't cooked? Yeah. yeah. Like Sydney's parents are like the most American parents you could like ever, <laughs> ever imagine. Like Sydney's dad is like the epitome of like an American dad. You right, know? right. Uh, he's like- Red, every, white, and blue. Yeah, 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 veins, yeah. He's like every American dad you've seen in every sitcom on every oh. fucking movie and everything yeah. like that. And I'm like, how do I, I it's, it's just like, I, I, I know, <laughs> hi Russell, if you're listening to this, by the way. <laughs> it's it's like, I know it's like the type of person you take to a sushi place and he's asking where the fork is, you know? Yeah. I don't think my dad, I don't think I've ever seen my dad use chopsticks. Maybe he does. I don't know actually. Yeah, can your parents yeah. use chopsticks? Pretty sure my mum can. <laughs> my dad, I need to find it. I'll find out. <laughs> I, would, I would say maybe start your parents off on, you know, something like salmon. 
right? The yeah. salmon sushi. Yeah. Well, that's and why like I like the tuna maybe I, sushi. Yeah. I, I, I will see what they like. I'll take them to a sushi roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, all right, we're going to try one of everything. Yeah. If you don't like it, don't finish. If you don't like it, yeah. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll, yeah. we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think sushi's, sushi should be fine. Um, I'm thinking But about, there are also people who are like very weird about eating raw. Meat, right? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. not like I'm going to be like, hey, eat this. By the way, it's raw yeah. horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, sushi's not the one I'm worried about. It's some of the other things that they can find in Japan, which might uh, be having well, like I, a little bit harder. I think a sushi is like, I want them to try that. And other stuff but I'm you can, get, of, you can get sushi in like the UK, Yeah, but I want right? to try good sushi. <laughs> <laughs> sushi that's edible, God. God. It's like, just take them to a yo sushi, dude. Yeah. Easy, easy clap. I want to give them sushi that's good. Um, and then like sushi was fine. Um, Cause I don't want to take them to an omikaze place. And then the, the sushi chef has been doing it for 50 years. Yeah. Like, please enjoy. And they're like, what the fuck is it's this? It's like, here you go. I don't want it. Here you go. I don't want it. Have you seen the, I've seen videos of like someone stabbing the sushi with the fork and then oh, putting yeah. in like their salad. And then eating it, yeah. Uh, I've seen videos of these what? from because of tourist officers coming in. Oh my yeah. fucking god! Um, yeah, uh, I wonder why. What, are, what other dishes do you want them to try? What is um, what is like you know? Well, actually, it depends. When are they coming? Oh, it's like uh, April. Probably. Uh, April. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I think in January. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I just saw one. Shit. Maybe like a, maybe like a nabe of some kind. Yeah, yeah. I think they'd enjoy like sukiyaki or something. Yeah, sukiyaki. Although the raw egg might throw them off a bit. Yeah, no, I'm gonna make him eat sukiyaki. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, you gotta trust, make you gotta trust, make him try sukiyaki. Trust, it's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I can get away with raw egg. You know, okay. I think they'll complain about it, and I think it's weird. But as soon as they try it, hopefully, yeah. hopefully, hopefully. I mean, I was. I feel like the if you're younger, it's probably easier, right? Because you're more open to trying, trying. new foods. Yeah. Right? Obviously, if you're older, you've been eating the same things your whole life, and you're less yeah. like, well, I, sure. I've survived without raw egg. I yeah. don't think I want to try it. <laughs> it's just like. It's the Japanese cuisine is just so vastly different from like Western cuisine, oh, you know? Yeah. And you know, now the world's become more, let's say like globalized and everything like that. Mm. So people our age, I think, I feel like we've got, we've had more of a chance to try all these different types of cuisine oh, and stuff like that. Yeah. But when you get to our parents' age, you know, it's, it was, it's, it was a lot harder to try different cuisines back mm. then, let's say. Mm. Oh, yeah. it, oh, in, gotcha. in fact, it's like surprised me so much just how much choice there is now nowadays. Oh, UK, in, UK went from like nothing to like yeah, good now. Exactly. Mm. You know, I go to like most major cities and they have like proper cuisines of like every type. Whereas I remember before you go to a Chinese restaurant and there was only like one type of Chinese restaurant, you know, mm. which was just basically- Orange Hong Kong. chicken. Yeah, orange chicken, <laughs> Kung Pao chicken, like, and now like you go to the UK and there's like so many different types of Chinese restaurant, which is how mm. it should be. It's like Szechuan food, it's like Chinese yeah. hot pot. Um, and I'm just like, wow, this choice wasn't there when I was growing mm. up in England. God knows what the choice was like when my parents were, mm. you know. What, what, it might also be because maybe back in our parents' generation, there wasn't enough like uh, understanding or knowledge on the subtle differences of a lot mm. of like mm. food like that. So maybe, the, maybe they existed, like maybe, you know, like Szechuan food and hot pot and like, you know, traditional Chinese food did yeah. exist, but it was probably all just labeled under Chinese food. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's probably just like, oh, it's, it's from China. So it must be just Chinese mm. food. Yeah. And you, you didn't pro probably, there wasn't enough information out there to be like, oh, this is a different type of Chinese yeah. food. Yeah. Well, this is a different type of Indian food. Yeah. Or, well, you know, anything like that. Right. Cause like, you know, I'm sure like back in our parents' day, it was just like, there's Asian food. <laughs> And that's it. There's Asian food and there is non-Asian food. No, I remember. You know? I remember when I was growing up in in Brighton, at least when 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 we wanted like when we wanted Chinese or Japanese food, they were both under the same restaurant. Yeah, it was. It wasn't Chinese or Japanese. It was it's Chinese so and sad. Japanese. Yeah, it was, it, was an Asian, it was like an it, Asian fusion. Yeah. right? It, was it Asian feels fusion. like the opposite in terms of like flavors. Like, yeah, the, you know, Chinese food is often quite heavy, maybe oily. Yeah, uh, whereas Japanese, Japanese food is very, very light. Very not light, so very many spices. You yeah. know, non, very, non, non, meanwhile, oil. Korean food is full of spices. Yeah. Right. It's like I mean, I remember. I remember when growing. I remember when growing up, Korean food just wasn't a thing. No, no, no. I was. Like you, you had zero choice of Korean cuisine, mm. and nobody knew about it either. Mm. It was either Chinese or Japanese That's or Indian, true. you know. Yeah, and it's just weird now seeing how many different cuisines are 
like coming up there like vietnamese cuisine is like coming up as well mm -hmm. whereas before i was just like oh yes I, I i i've had thai food I, that's you know that's that's just all before, southeast asian before food it right like, let's hit, before it was like let's yeah. hit up that asian restaurant that has sushi pad thai yeah. uh orange chicken like <laughs> yeah. it just has everything I, I could be wrong but i'm pretty sure didn't the thai government and i think it might still does like they they sponsor a lot of people opening up thai restaurants abroad um if they do that's five hit because they wanted Thai food to be like really well known. Right. Yeah. Um, um, I'm pretty sure they did that. Can I we fact check? This I wouldn't be Thai? surprised. Because I think if you look at all the foreign foods from like Southeast Asia, mm. like it's only like Thai food is the big one. That yeah. like mm. is, has been pushed the most. Yeah. I think it's because the true. government was like, hey, we need to get our food out there. Mm. I mean, it makes sense when pretty much everyone in my parents and dad's side who emigrated out of Thailand, started a restaurant business. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there was like a- there was, Checks out, I guess. There was something, some kind of program, I maybe. Mean. <laughs> there is not a single Thai person who has come out from outside just, Thailand who didn't at uh, one point in their lives uh, own a yeah, restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just thinking, I'm just like- We have the fact check in Okay, all right. What are you thinking? 2002, the Thai government have been funding- um, Oh, 2002? Yeah, thousands of restaurants around the world to make them authentic. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so that, the Thai That's five head. Yeah, because they, they realize like, hey, how, how do we get our name on the map? Let's make yeah. bomb ass food that people are gonna be like, no, I don't want Chinese, I want yeah. Thai food. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you think about it more, right? You mm. know the country, you know about it. Like, yeah, right. I don't know a lot about some other Southeast Asian countries because the food isn't really like pushed. That's true. Yeah, right? and it's kind mm -hmm. of, it's very niche. And food is very intrinsically linked to the culture too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Bro, like, dude, I, I mean, I swear half of the hype around Italy is how goddamn good their food is. Yeah. So I, I, you know, but no um, one ever thinks to stop about the government. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about the Italian government. The Italian politics, but we don't yo, talk Italian about. politics yeah. be kind of whack, but their food yeah, is goddamn every, good. Everyone you yeah. know, you think about it. Right? Yeah, everyone, every single family member that has emigrated out of Thailand, uh, and I have a, <laughs> started a fucking big family, by the way, or in my parents' generation, <laughs> mm. started a restaurant business. Makes or sense. worked for a restaurant business. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that was that was like in the 1980s though. Is that there was, is there a particular cuisine that you want more people in the world to like know about or try that you think is like personally? Fuck, you're asking the white guy un here. Underrated. Uh, <laughs> Subway sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't Jelly know, deals. Um, damn, I, I really want to just try more Southeast Asian food, but it, mm. worldwide, everyone should know. That's hard to say. Um, I still think to this day, Greek food is underrated. No. You don't no. like Greek food? <laughs> no, no, Greek, dude. Greek, Greek food. Greek, Greek food is so hit or miss. Really? Yeah. They've, and dude, it's all down to what's the fucking sauce they put on everything. Um, tzatziki. Yeah. If that shit doesn't, if that if they didn't make that properly, the food, none of oh, the food works. I mean, not making good tzatziki at a Greek restaurant is being like, oh, we got vinegar instead of soy sauce for your sushi. It's like you know, it's it's, 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 it's like such a whole, staple like, that it's like if you fucked up at that point. I, there's no going off. I, it. I I've had um I've had some amazing Greek food that I mm. thought was so good, mm. but so often, so often, Greek restaurants are sh uh, outside of Greece are so shit. Mm. As it's like whoever runs it just hates everyone. I don't. I don't and they <laughs> is don't, that in the UK? Uh, in the UK, or I've, I've been anywhere else in Europe. Mm. I, we have, you know, I've, I've gone to other places in like America and I've tried Greek food, and it's like I don't know what it is. It's so hit or miss. Really, like, it's yeah. like Italian. It's you can normally rely on it to be decent, or at least one or two items that you like, mm. and there's always something. And it's and to be honest, you you have to really fucking try to fuck up Italian food. Yeah, like that's I'm not true. saying that it's easy to make, mm. but like at least the base ingredients are, are pretty readily available, and the recipes aren't too complicated. Right. Yeah. and like you have to really fuck, be an awful chef. Maybe I just it had it good because in Australia we have a lot of Greek immigrants. Maybe um, like I feel like, like that's I've been how to like two shit. or three Greek restaurants in Sydney, and they were all fucking. Bomb. It was so good. I, I, so good. I don't know if this is like anecdotal. I think I've had the worst service consistently in Greek restaurants. Really? I think so. I've had the best <laughs> service. I, to say that? I, feel, like, I, I feel like, uh, really? Dude, yeah. I, oh man, I, I don't know. Is that- Like there was a Greek restaurant. It's not there anymore. That was like near my house. Yeah. And like we would go there because it was quite expensive and it's yeah. expensive to eat out in Australia. Yeah. Right? We would go there for like, if it's like, a family member's birthday, mm. or if it's like a New Year's thing, or something like that, mm. some kind of celebration. And we went so often year after year that like the head chef and like most of the people who worked there mm. just knew who we were. Yeah. And we got some of the best fucking service ever. Like I've yeah. never seen my dad tip in Australia except for at this <laughs> Greek restaurant. <laughs> Every time Damn. my dad's like, "My well, man, why, here I, I you wish go. we could have gone there." Damn. Yeah. yeah. And it's not there anymore. I don't know. Maybe I, I need to try some restaurant, more restaurants. Maybe. There's some, there's some recommendations. I mean, I, I, I haven't been to Greece, so yeah. I I don't know if I've had like 
authentic, authentic Greece. Authentic I like Greece. Food, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, everything was really cheap. I remember mm. that. I remember but the food that, was quite good. Yeah, but that that's what makes me want to go because mm. I had such a good experience at Greek restaurants in Australia, literally on the other side of the fucking planet from Greece that yeah. I'm sure the food in actual Greece is just as good, if be, if not better. Yeah, I like, I like the food yeah. in Greece. It's good. Yeah, I feel like I need to try more like Greek food. Mm. Uh, I think there's one thing that I feel like I don't gel with Greek food and it's just unfortunate that I just don't really like feta cheese. You know, I'm, I'm not- You don't like feta? I don't, I don't really like feta. A lot of people don't. Mm. Yeah, I'm, and and that's it just- is a, It is a strong taste. It, it is, it is. It is like a very, it's very- so good though when it's fresh. It's, it's, it is a very, very strong taste, a bit too strong for you my like, palate. You like lamb though, right? Yeah, I like lamb. Okay, yeah. good. Greek lamb, bro. Don't worry, I'm not Emily. Don't worry, I'm not Emily. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I, Emily, Emily and I just go, yeah, when I eat lamb, it tastes like goat's cheese. And I'm like, what? Like they, I mean, Yes, they come, you know, goat's cheese and and uh, you know whatever. It's I'm like, how the fuck, how the fuck does the mink taste like the goat's cheese? Well, I don't trust someone who said yuzu tastes like lemon cleaner. I don't like yuzu that much though. I, I, but do you think strong, it tastes like lemon cleaner? It's a very strong taste. I will admit. I don't know if it's. I, I want to get fun. Emily back on because she's the only person I've met that could like rival she is all of our tastes, taste. like put together. <laughs> like holy shit! Every time she comes out, every time she like in private or on fucking Twitter, every yeah. time like we talk about food, she'll say something fucking outrageous, yeah. and I'm like, I thought I had bad food. I'm just like, I'm Emily. sorry. I don't. I don't believe I heard what you just <laughs> yeah. said. Could you repeat that for <laughs> so, so, so Emily told me she didn't like lamb, and yeah. I was like. <laughs> What? What do you mean you don't like lamb? Mm. And so I, I, I'm like, you know what? Maybe you've just had really bad lamb. Yeah. Because like in America, mm. I don't think they got many good lambs. Mm. All right. Yeah. I don't think it's fresh. I don't think it's good stuff. I was like, whatever. Let's. I'll take you to somewhere that does really good lamb in Hokkaido. It's mm. really good shit. That, that place we went to. Oh, yeah. you've been there. Yeah, the genius complex. Yeah, right? and yeah. I was like, let's just try this. It's a different style. You cook it on a grill. You got and the then, stair yeah. one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so good. You get like veggie on the side and it cooks. And I was like, all right, we'll try every cut. Mm. And I just tried a little mm -hmm. bit of each one. Cause she was like, I don't dislike lamb. I just don't think it's that good. Mm. Yeah. And I was like, well, let's try it. Yeah. And every single one she was like, there's like goat's cheese. And I was like, <laughs> then, and, oh my God. and then she was like, I just, I just think beef is way better than this. And I'm like, what? <laughs> What? It's like I, there is, it's different foods, different occasions. You know, I I think I don't know what it is. Does she not like the gaminess of it? Maybe I think so. Maybe yeah. 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 I, I can accept people don't taste like don't goat's like, cheese. But I'm yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I understand if you don't like it for the gaminess, but not for the subtle cheese flavor that it has, which it doesn't. I don't know what she's on. <laughs> which, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, that that was frustrating. But I like lamb a lot. Obviously, I'm Welsh. I love lamb. Yeah. but yeah, I feel I like in a lot of a lot of the times in Wales, they didn't really cook it very well. Yeah, right. I, yeah. I, I will say it's always lamb chops I, as well. Yeah, mm. I will say like comparing like lamb to beef. Beef is like a lot harder to fuck up. Yeah, I feel like lamb if you don't cook it correctly or if the meat quality is not good there yeah. is a, there is like a real strong aftertaste that can be very yeah, off-putting with lamb but when you get good lamb fucking incredible Woo. Woo. have you ever had someone ask you uh, how how would you like your pork cooked no no someone was like do you want your pork medium rare and i was like what <laughs> <laughs> i was like what, what? Are you, <laughs> what are you i'm like what do you what do you mean so i went, I went to um uh, a katsu place yeah, katsu right. is a uh, breaded uh Pork, pork, and like then pork, pork, cutlet. and then like fried. Yeah. Um. And they were like, "Do you want it rare or medium rare or well done?" I was like, "What?" I was like, "What do you What do you mean?" It's tonkatsu. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, "Isn't it deep fried? How do you do what?" <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? I, I was very confused. Yeah. And they were like, the also chef- it's, Also it's pork. You should not be- Yeah, so the, yeah. the chef was like, we recommend it medium rare. And I was like, Okay, I guess I'll trust you because it's your pork and you do this a lot. Yeah, so I'll, I'll get medium rare. Okay. And it was slightly pink, very slightly pink, like right. like a, a little bit of pink right. in the middle. Yeah, but it was bomb. It was really fucking good. And I was like, Is it safe? Yeah, I, I assume so. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think they'd be open if it was poisoned. Isn't rare pork like kind of bad? Yeah, I see. I don't know. Is it? Can we Google this? But then this is also the country that also does like raw rare chicken. Raw chicken. <laughs> chicken so, like stuff, it was like. It, when I say. It was the one I posted on Twitter, that mm. picture of the katsu. Mm. So like it was it was clearly all white with just very dots of pink in the middle. So right, I assume right. they were trying to cook it. Cause often uh, if you've ever if you ever come to Japan and you have cheap katsu, it's it, sometimes it can be like fighting. Like it mm. is fighting a war. You're like yeah. biting really hard to kind of separate because the chunks are normally quite big. Yeah. yeah. So you do kind of want to it's normally at least a two biter. 
And sometimes it is pretty hard to get through it. Mm. And you're like, okay, shit. And maybe it makes sense that it would maybe. be medium rare, but it worked. it worked, it worked. Yeah, if it's a little bit pink, it's okay. If it's a little bit pink, it's okay. Right. So that's pretty okay. why. Okay. It was good. It, it was it was tasty, highly recommend it. They have, there was a chain. They oh, have I'm sure it's bomb, but like, I would also be a little bit worried if the chef came up to me and said, how would you like a I, I was just, I was taken aback because <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd never had that before. It was like a bog standard, co like corner street uh, katsu place. And yeah. I was not That's like ready. asking how you want your chicken done. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Just can I do? Can I get my chicken rare, please? Rare, rare, please. Yeah. So, so I, I, I ordered it, and I, I was like, "Oh, uh, well, you know, what, what do you, what do you mean? Like, mm. I'd never heard a chef ask me that, and I thought he was saying something else because I yeah. thought I, I thought I misunderstood. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, "What do you, what the fuck do you mean, medium rare? <laughs> what? No, I didn't get beef. I'm poor. Yeah, but no, it was that. It was good. Yeah. I recommend it. So if you ever get, if you ever get asked in Japan, how do you want your tonkatsu? And if the guy recommends medium rare, <laughs> trust him. That's what he's talking about. So, so, <laughs> so, bottom line with the Emily thing, she tried all those beautiful cuts of meat, mm -hmm. right? A lot of it was Australian cuts as well, if I remember. A lot of Australian correctly. cuts, and yeah. there was deer there as well. There's deer a, as well. A cut of deer. Ooh. She liked the deer it's more all, than it's the lamb. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that she liked the deer bomb, more. Yeah. And then she was and, like, and, "Ghost cheese in it." I think she just liked. <laughs> I think people just like beef sometimes, and I think some people associate like beef in the uh, sorry meat in the head as chicken or beef, and then pork is somewhere in the middle. Mm. But I think some people when they've only really eaten chicken and beef a lot. They yeah. kind of only really think about those two right. when they think of it's meat. It's like there's the white meat, there's the red meat. And so and ev every else, flavor yeah. of meat in their mind is like a tree that starts from chicken or beef and then right. they tie it. So I think uh, like some kind of, I think there's some kind of thing when you just don't eat anything. Yeah, I mean, there's like a mental thing, right? Where so. you, you try something new mental death. and you're just like- <laughs> mental, <laughs> mental death. <laughs> Skill oh, you, issue. oh, you don't like lamb? Mental death. <laughs> skill tree. Skill, skill issue, innit? Skill, skill issue. issue. Skill issue. You don't enjoy lamb? <laughs> Listen, oh, I, what did she expect when she said to the Welsh person, I don't like lamb? And I was like, what do yeah. you? No, that's not allowed. It's because you've had shit lamb. Yeah, it's how you had shit lamb. But uh, now she's I, had good lamb and I apparently didn't, that didn't, didn't change. I didn't change her mind. Apparently at the end of it, she was like, no, so uh, it all tastes like goat cheese. I'm like, what the fuck is your palate? What is this shit? Oh, Every Jesus time someone's Christ. like allergic, to, like deathly allergic to a food, now I'm gonna be like skill issue, innit? Skill issue, skill issue, <laughs> skill issue. Skill Can't issue. have nuts, fucking skill Wait, issue, innit? How? Like, why? Why are we? Why do we just should get restart the, of the game? Why do, we get, <laughs> why do we get allergic to things? Why does that happen? Do we know? Do why? We know why, why, we, why allergies happen? Yeah. Why we just become allergic to shit? Skill issue. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a genetic diff, born diff. No, what I don't understand more is how is it that your body is just like, yeah, so um, you're allergic to this, this, and this, by the way, so don't ever have it in your body. Is and it, then 20 years later, they're like, never mind, I changed it, my mind. Is it like, you're good now. Is it like a, like a, you know how like games when they ship and there's bugs? Is it like that? Mm. Where like- <laughs> well, it's like, it's like a patch. I feel like it's gotta be like some kind of bug on the DNA strand. Well, because like, like yeah. you, are, you are allergic to this fruit that is nowhere near where you are born and no one in your ancestors have ever eaten. You're like, what? Well, because my, my, my dad- <laughs> How did that happen? My dad was born with a prawn allergy. Okay. And then at the age of like for you, 20, he, one day he was just like, yeah, and then I could eat it. My allergies just went away. I'm like, how, how does that work? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Or some people who are allergic to like everything, you're like, what went wrong? Like, what <laughs> happened? How did you just get allergic to everything? Like, what, how, how does or this- Or you happen? developed an allergy to cats. I developed an allergy to cats Which, and, and some breeds of dogs. Diff. Yeah. Skill diff, dude. Skill yeah, diff. I got, I got, I got deep imagine, <laughs> imagine not being able to pet every dog. I would end it. I would my, be like- My cat would end it now. I would yeah. just start again. New safe <laughs> yeah, 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 I, <laughs> New game plus. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm specking differently on the skill tree. Minus intelligence, <laughs> not allergic to dogs. So I understand. What's the point? My happiness meter it cannot yeah. cannot be full. I've maxed out my dog petting skill tree. Yeah. Um, it's just <laughs> fuck, man. I need to tell him he's a good boy. <laughs> Kai. Oh, yeah. uh, well, it's just your immune system just mistakes a normal substance for something that's dangerous. That's so fucking stupid. That's fucked up. Our body isn't just it? thinks it's something else. It's like, oh god, you're dying. It's just a, like a just chicken wing. I was like, I was like, I was like what? Is there you, anyone I, allergic to chicken? Uh, maybe. Uh, you it, know what we should do for trash taste? Yeah. We should what? we should take one of those allergy tests and then we should report our results. Are, are we allergic yeah. to any weird specific things? Oh yeah. You can, oh, cause yeah. they can give you like a test where they prick you with like 2000 right? different yeah, little yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they're like, all right, look, you're allergic to octopus fangs. <laughs> Octopus though, you're good. Just avoid the fangs. Yeah, I, I don't think they have fangs. I don't yeah. Making it up. Yeah, because it's so weird. Because I, I used to be, uh, I used to get hay fever, and then I didn't. And then I was just like, I don't know what happened. I just woke up one day, and then I just didn't. Wait, wait. So you had hay fever in the UK, but not here, right? 
No, I had hay fever in the UK. Yeah. And then when I turned like 18 or something, I just stopped having hay fever. Really? Yeah. I don't get it in the UK or anything anymore. Your body just decided to be a giga chat one day. <laughs> like, you just woke up. <laughs> da, na, na, na. <laughs> Your immune system was like, stop sneezing now. <laughs> Told my body to get good and it did. So, you it's know, like, that's- It's like when I hear about people who like, uh, they they ate they they ignored their lactose intolerance so much that they just somehow stopped being lactose intolerant. I'm like, you sacrifice so much. No, but that but that's an actual <laughs> thing that can happen. It's mm. like because like I you think you can also the, develop it if you don't have enough dairy, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also the, you can do the same thing with like cats, for example. Yeah. If you live with the same cat that you started off as being allergic to, yeah, and you just let your immune system just fight that shit for like, I think it's like a couple of weeks on average. Can we check this? You, is true, by the yeah, way, before no, we start no, promoting it bullshit. It is true because <laughs> that's what happened to Chris. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chris was allergic to cats, but then when Chris and Charla started living yeah. together, she has a cat. Yeah. And then he had to live with this cat for, you know, however many weeks. After a while, he's like, I'm not allergic to this particular cat. Oh. Your, your body just learns to process that particular cat's Allergens or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> when they were trying to keep it a secret, he had a cat, and yeah. then just the, the cat hair constantly kept appearing on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> that was just so funny. It's like, really, Chris? Where's the cat, on, man? Where's the cat, Come bro? Come on, on. A secret. You got Rookie a error. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Yeah, but so like that that is like one way that you can just get over. It. So it's really interesting in the case with Chris, it's that he's not allergic to this one particular cat that he lives yeah, with, yeah. but every other cat he's still allergic to. Huh. And it's, and it's like your body just being like, yeah, you're good with this. All these other ones though, no, nah, you're still fucked. Being allergic to these, these fruits and whatever the fuck, any of this stuff. Mm. Yeah, I could I could live with that, but I couldn't be lactose intolerant, man. I <laughs> a world without cheese is one I don't want to be in. Aren't we I, all no, no, technically a little bit lactose no. intolerant? No, we are. I'm oh, no, Connor, I'm Connor, Connor, I'm, I know if you were lactose intolerant, you would just take the L and just like fight. I would. It. I would like, fight through as, it. As the be... man who has food poisoning every fucking week, you, you, you would just like <laughs> lactose intolerant <laughs> is not an illness. You know, you, know, you know, like you know, like when you hear about the stories of like kids who are allergic to peanut butter, are like fuck it, they eat like the peanut butter, uh, the like Reese's cup, and then just stab themselves with the epipen. <laughs> It's like, I think I would be that kid. I would be yeah. like, fuck it. <laughs> oh! Like sitting profusely on the toilet. I'm seeing like the cheese risotto thing they yeah. do where they, they cook, like they put the oh, risotto they in. The yeah. They like yeah. carve the cheese. I'm like, all right. Yeah. All right, good <laughs> enough. Load the bidet ready. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, like I have, I have some friends who live here who are like full on lactose intolerant. Yeah. Like can't yeah. eat any cheese at all. Some days when well, I'm it's, out it's eating a, with them, Asian, I'm like- Asian, right? Yeah. They have yeah. the some lactose days intolerant. I'm just out eating with them and they just like, Fuck it. <laughs> it's like, that looks too good. Yeah. I'm just going to take the hit. So fucking, cheese is so fucking good. I'm just yeah. going to be shitty God, through a straw cheese. for the next two days. God, I love That's the one thing I can agree on with French people. Yeah. <laughs> cheese. 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 Fucking, fucking great. Cheese. <laughs> no, I love cheese. So I, I, I would cry profusely if I was lactose intolerant. Yeah. I would too. I yeah, just don't think I can do it. I, I don't think I could continue. I don't think so. I'm just glad I don't have a food allergy. You know? Yeah. You know, when you go to a restaurant and you're like, do you have any food allergies? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, yeah. Giga Chat theme sauce. Play it. <laughs> Play it. Dun, no. Dun, dun. Cause I love food so much and I love like the so column. many yeah. variations of food that like, it would just be such like an immediate hindrance to just like yeah. actually get explorative with food. I feel, yeah. and, if, and it sucks, it must fucking suck. But like, you know. Yeah, I got some friends with some yeah. peanut allergies where it's mm. like, you have to, going to a restaurant is a fucking battle because you have to profusely make sure that they know like, hey, I cannot have anything with yeah. peanuts, yeah. remotely near peanuts. You cannot breathe near peanuts and walk near me. Mm. Like there, and sometimes they take it seriously and sometimes they don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's unfortunate. Um, Cause I remember when I, when during my wedding, you know, obviously I had to get everyone's dietary requirements. Mm. Oh yeah. And then everyone was just like, fine, 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 fine. And then, you know, I had one person have to like send me a fucking shopping list. I was oh, like, no. you've been, this is what you have to live with. Oh. We have a friend in the UK who's uh, allergic to sesame. Yeah. Mm. Um, but they're Asian. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. if they want to eat Asian how, food. How do they A manage? lot of the time it's like, uh, please, please, please don't put sesame in it. Yeah. And yeah. like, they're like, yeah, of course. Of course they use sesame oil a lot of the times to cook or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just forget, yeah. so they would get sick a lot. Well, boys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Trash Taste. Thank you, you, you know, for you know joining. It, it was nice to have a food conversation and not be shouting at each other's throat for <laughs> once. How, how rare is that? That we bring up well, food- Well, because we weren't talking about what we like. We talked about what, what is shit, <laughs> 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 We talked about what other people can't eat. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> stuff that I, I yeah. like and that others don't. <laughs> it's, not, it's not my problem. Shout out to those who are allergic to foods. Sorry about the skill issue, but <laughs> spell that. Hope you genetic get over diff. it. <laughs> yeah, diff. Gen genetic diff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, run, the run's dead, man. Restart it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, look at all these patrons, though. Yeah. Ooh. That, you know that there's one thing these patrons are not allergic to, and that's trash taste. Yes. <laughs> Hell Hopefully. yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, maybe one day they'll develop an allergy for it. <laughs> <laughs> Blink twice if your mom took your credit card away. <laughs> but uh, hey, if you want to support the show, then go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And uh, bye our new merch. Yes. That's that's a thing. Yes. Look at that. Giga Look at Chad. this Giga Chad right Connor's here. Connor's got our early jumper. Buy Giga Chad, buy the merch. <laughs> Go All right. right. Link to the description. Go check it out. Hell yeah. We'll see you guys <laughs> next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.